All right, so we made it. Uh, welcome everybody to the first episode <laughs> of When Every Day Is the Weekend. Uh, I will be your host, um, but you should already know that because you hopefully watched the introduction episode that I haven't <laughs> taped yet. I'm we'll going to do that, that tomorrow by myself. It's a little intimidating there. But I've got a friend with me. He decided to come over and hang out for the first one, kind of yeah. get that gist. Um, if you want to, this is Chris. He can <coughs> introduce himself. And well, hey, everybody. Tell, Chris. Tell, tell something about him. A little, little something about myself. Uh, well, Cora and I are, are, are friends through our professional ties. and uh, That's true. And it's I think our friendship's grown in the past couple of years. And That's true. Kind of. This is a new step, I think. I'm, you I'm don't down. have to look at the camera. This is freaking me out, dude. Don't. Okay, well, no. Do you, you know me, look though? Look at me, though. Well, okay, <clears throat> so everybody will know, I have this thing with technology. I'm not really comfortable with it. Really? So this is, well, you, yeah, I mean, we, I we've talked at length about yeah. this. It's borderline phobia. I would probably uh, be happiest somewhere like Alaska or... I, th I think that's why I wanted to kind of <laughs> have you on, just because... But you talk, I mean, you talk, and you have ideas, and you have things that you want to say, and, it, you know, what better way to do it than yeah. that first episode? It'd be really fun. Um, plus, yeah, you're fucking terrified. <laughs> but it's going to be easy. That's the thing. We just go. Um, yeah. We what? do whatever we want kind of deal. I'm, I'm down, man. I'm down. I just, uh, there, there are times when, you know, I can find myself looking at the camera now that you mentioned it. Uh, yeah. But uh, it. It's it's when technology feels like it invades everything. <laughs> so yeah, I don't so like, like normally conversations for me are like a sanctuary. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, person to person, cool. Let's yeah. let's share thoughts. That's and what I love. Stuff. Yeah. And, and the, the fact <laughs> that we're doing that and then in front of fucking cameras makes it probably worse. Yeah, you know? it's kind of crazy for me. But it's like yeah, realistically, it's we just sit here together and just have this conversation without fucking all this shit in front of us. But hey, it's yeah. kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. That's and why I like it. It's uh, it's. I like the medium because I, I love listening to podcasts because mm -hmm. I like the transmission of information. It's really nice to get diverse, you know, yeah. points of view in, and so I'm really yeah. down to to be part of this. I, I'm not sure. Thanks, man. I'm fucking <laughs> stoked. I mean, this is episode number one, so it's gonna be a little raw. It's gonna I, be a little funky. I love the set. You like it? I love your work here. Cool. Uh, thank you. I, yeah, it it really wasn't too hard, and that's yeah. what's really sad because okay. I wanted to be like. It's fucking difficult, really. but it really wasn't. It was it was more fun than it was difficult, and that's the point. Um, <laughs> Great man, yeah, love the setup. You you can't see that sign, but who gives a shit? I don't give a fuck. Um, yeah, and then I added all this other stuff. Yeah, the uh, green gumball gu machine, fucking gumball machine. Yeah, the question I have for you is: yeah. those are just gumballs, the, right? Yeah, okay. they're just gumballs. I think that's a, a prop that could evolve with time. It's yeah, like what, it's just the what do you thing think? Added into that, that, that uh, of, you know, I just wanted some gumballs. Variety. I think Gum that's our headphones. Uh, gumballs are good though. <laughs> oh, hold on. Shit. Very nice. So yeah, I kind of forgot what we were talking about, but that's okay. Oh yeah, the gumballs. gumballs. Please tell me what. Well, do you I was think? just thinking you can yeah. augment it. I don't know what the port size is, but you can buy those little tiny deals, and you can put all sorts of adult <laughs> goodies in oh, there. Oh, okay. It. Yeah, it could be yeah, a, a way to you. get your guests yeah, contribute to the it's till. Fucking old. Oh, bummer. I just got. A new, <laughs> I just had to get a new key for it. My mom did up the key for me. She's had it forever. She's the one that ended up getting it, and it was mine. I think her ex-husband stole it or some shit nice. um, <laughs> from a long time ago. We're talking before I was born, so it's like 1970s. I want to picks say. it up, puts it in the back of the truck, and drives I'm off. pretty sure that's what happens. It's pretty yeah. epic. It, it, it. It's penny. <laughs> Here's this is why you would know that it's pennies. No joke. And nickels. It doesn't work with dimes. Though. That's too no small for quarters. Joke. Yeah, and that's... it doesn't fit one-inch gumballs like the regular <laughs> size gumballs. So that's, yeah, it's old. That's pretty cool though. That's maybe yeah. maybe you just have to. I got, I, I bought three bags of gumballs thinking, oh, that's going to be enough. Nope. Half. Seriously? I'm like, fuck it. Yeah. Don't good give enough. a shit. Yeah. It just means I like gumballs, motherfuckers. I don't like gumballs, though. But it looks so like I you do. I just did it because I, yeah, <laughs> I just wanted something yeah. out there. <laughs> so I thought it worked. Um, it looks like not only do you like to have gumballs, but you like them enough that you've eaten a half a container. No, I, that's so. what I'm saying. That's all three bags per fill. I bought, they were no. like 10 for for green gumballs, yeah, just to get a bag of green gumballs, it was like ten bucks. And I'm like, what the fuck? And yeah. it was only three. I fucking hate gum. 
God damn it. Yeah, no, Visual it's effects. like the worst game of golf for you, too. <laughs> it's like all sugar fucking That sticker is sick as shit, as shit though. Uh, I do, do you like, like the I like your emblem. You I like love the new, new stickers, and okay. that looks great on there, man. Yeah, this is the new uh, logo, if you didn't watch the introduction episode. Um, yeah. Uh, those evolution. stickers are on sale, too, online. So you can get one for, like, I, I think I'm going to put up them up for six bucks. I don't think I have yet. So yeah, maybe... Maybe when I'm ha- having this conversation later, <laughs> I think or in whenever the this fucking comes out, uh, yes, the sticker now. should be it's on 95. sale. <laughs> you make sure that you don't um, see the price right now. That if you're gonna wait that long on sale, no, it's gonna be like this six <laughs> for a sticker. It'd be fun. Inflation's crazy. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> so yeah, this was a, a crazy week. Um, it's been fun though. It's been a fun one. Yeah. We just had what. What went on? We've <laughs> we've experienced a very interesting winter. It's been oh, that's right. Yeah, very. The very winter is finally uh, leaving us. Finally, hopefully, the snow. It's still, it's, yeah, that's knocking on wood. Yeah, right I'm gonna go on to the fucking weather app later yeah. tonight, and it's gonna say like snow on Thursday, Friday next week, and I'm gonna be like, you son of a bitch. Or yeah, well, I mean, come back full force. Right, I've been in this beautiful area for better, off and on for the better part of twenty. Nice and uh, I love it. Yeah, I mean, I I absolutely love Central Oregon. It is wonderful. This is definitely the the most sustained snow that I've seen, and it's nice that it's rained out and finally gone away. Yeah, give us our dry roads back. And yeah, please. Nice commutes. That's all I want. <laughs> I was gonna say right. if we want, we, we gotta get a little bit more. Either that, or you can turn it up. How about I <laughs> get into it? You can get into it. Yeah. I think that's what you're freaking out about. Yeah, no, I, it's, this, this, it's a little weird to have somebody else yeah. in your head and then also talk. I think to your own Joe head. Rogan has planted a seed of, of like oh, weirdness in my head with the whole like <laughs> idea. I don't remember who he's 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 uh, parroting or talking about talking of yeah um, when he's talking about it, but the, the whole upload of the psyche into a cyborg. Idea that freaks that shit freaks me out. That's do, what that's. Do I think you really think that? No, I don't. Okay, absolutely don't. Uh, no, yeah. but I think it's hilarious. Yeah, and I think that it's threatening, and I think in a really neurotic way it makes sense to you know kind of. I forgot there was something we were talking about. Uh, it was a few days ago, but wasn't it about like, um, something about God or you know like we're just, you know if we're just as something. Uh, I can't remember <laughs> what it was, and then I thought of something better. And I'm just going to go with that. Uh, <laughs> it makes no sense now. Um, but I thought, what if I was, was just a party? Like, and we're like in a, you know. Right. Like, I, it's a Sims game. And it's just. Well, see, that's the thing. We're just hanging out, partying. Uh, Let's I, have fun. I think what what I understand of physics, which is not much. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you know, you know, what is the universe? And you're like, well, it's, yeah. it's energy that's moving, right? And yep. we're just a really fortunate form of energy that can coalesce into this, like, meat sack. And <laughs> these hairless apes that it's get, so to, awesome. get to experience life. And that I is, love that it. is tremendous. That's cool. I mean, yeah. I have, you know. Compare it to my other thoughts. But. I'm... I, I'm going to talk a lot more on the introduction episode tomorrow. Um, so this is weird because this is his first episode, and then you're watching the introduction. I don't really give a shit. Um, yeah, whatever. The intro. But, yeah, definitely. It's going to be, you know. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's awesome. I don't know. What, uh... But, uh, no, and then I was going to say, what else did happen this fucking week? Oh, it's fucking – uh. Super Bowl, man. Dude, this is why marijuana it? sucks. No. <laughs> did you watch it, though? I did. I, I watched, actually. Yeah, I, I took I, edibles, and it was amazing. I can't lie. Until I, I started eating. I Yeah, dude, I watched uh, I watched the first the quarter. Is that it? And then it was like, what, 21-0, and I was like, okay, well, uh, let the wife oh, have a little bit of time with her show. <laughs> And I'll come back in, you know, every half hour and yep. kind of see what's going on. And, and nothing really changed for a long time. No, and, it didn't change at all. And then it was like, it was, it was, I think the Patriots had nine points at, at the time. I was like, fine, I'll turn it on. And, and then we and then you watched. And then I was, and we were just doing stuff. We weren't really watching. It was just yeah. on. And, and we were just kind of hanging out in the kitchen talking and look over the TV. And I'm like, holy shit, this is a game. Like, yeah. There's no way. And I, then, all they have to do is run the ball. You're like, okay, just run. Right? Just run. I watched you know. the whole, almost the whole thing until I was, I did cooking as well in between. Yeah. yeah. So I was like back and forth. I want to say probably third. 
Um, I was doing something. I can't remember. Maybe I don't remember what I was doing. Fuck it. If, it, if I don't remember, it wasn't important. Right. Um, but I kept just thinking, man, this game's kind of fucking boring. Because <laughs> <laughs> you watch the first half, and you see one team dominate. And then you're like, okay, halftime. And then halftime is like a half an hour, 45 minutes. Yeah. Well, and it fucking – I mean, I it think kills it killed you. the game. Yeah. It, it, I mean, it killed the game for maybe Atlanta. I don't know. Well, it definitely, definitely changes it, it, anything, I think, and the professional athlete would yeah. s- attest to this. That, yeah. That any time you change their routine, that they're going to be thrown off a little bit. But but the professional but athletes, still, yeah. they get paid millions of dollars. Yep. Do your job. And, and yeah. And then the other team did and their the job, thing, and the, the other well, one didn't. And the, you're like, what the fuck? The thing is, is they're both trying to do their job at every given moment. In the yeah. first half, it, it would look like the Atlanta Falcons came to play, and they were yep. stoked. And they were ready to be there. They were young, excited, and then and then it and transitioned then, to yep. experience and yep, right. wisdom and and, and and what sucks about life is that oftentimes yeah. bears results. You're like, oh, good, the old dude is beating me. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, the young people always get to like start. They start strong. Well, yeah, exactly. They don't ever tortoise finish. in the hair thing. Yeah, yeah, right. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just I watched it. The first half was great, I thought, and I thought I was like, I was I said before the game I go either it's gonna be a blowout, and I thought for sure it was a blowout when it was going first blowout. half. I was like, oh, it's yeah, gonna be a blowout. Game, game That's over. How I thought. Yeah. You know, but then I went to halftime, and I'm watching Lady Gaga going, I think Patriots will probably fucking come back on this. Well, totally. Yeah. I mean, you've got a long halftime. You've got. Um, Tom Brady. And then, like and I said, I was on Bill edibles, Belichick. and it literally and it peaking. lifted me way better. Because <laughs> yeah. Yeah. then I started, like, kicking out, like, what, like when Tom Brady's, like, coming back, I'm like, the yeah. fix is in. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, all yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. Like, somebody's got a Dude. piece of somewhere going on Dude. that's going to – like, yep. how are they letting him come back? Right. That's what I thought. I was right. like, something's got to be going on. It's weird. This is weird. Why is this happening? Well, and, and you know, it's a it – was the credit of, of one of the greatest players ever. It yeah. Was, it was a two minute drill and they practice that, you know, yeah. I'm sure every, probably every Thursday or Friday or whatever. And, and they've probably done that was, thousands of times. So they just needed to execute yeah. on one drive. It was a great game though. It was actually not yeah. a great game. It was a great finish to a two shitty halves. Two shitty halves. Great finish. It worked out. I mean, but I mean, even overtime, I was really hoping for just the three, yeah. and then give the give Atlanta a chance because I think Atlanta would have won then. Uh, Realistic. I mean, I think you know because Patriots got the ball in the overtime. Okay. They went first. If you would have got them to get stopped, and they couldn't fucking stop them in that second half. I don't know what happened, but they just couldn't stop them. They had a perfect first half. Yeah. I mean, but there was a bunch of Patriots that dropped balls too in that first half. That's exactly right, like, and. The- Brady missed yeah. Edelman, I think, two times by a, a couple of a couple of feet, of eighteen inches or so, and it could have been, been twenty-five, touchdown. thirty yards yeah. or a touchdown. Yeah, yeah. In, in the two he was I'm thinking of. So it's sure. like, you know, what do you do? It's like, yeah, and they could, I and mean, they, they, what you do doesn't matter because they ended up winning. Exactly, anyways. what you do is you is you just realize I've got yeah. ice water in my fucking veins. My name is Tom fucking Brady. <laughs> I do whatever I know, the fuck right? I want. God, there's nannies, uh, whatever. I'm just kidding, Tom. I don't right. think Tom Brady's gonna give a fuck. I think he's it. gonna listen to this, and I think he's gonna care. You think right. so? Oh yeah. yeah. He's like he's Donald Trump's homie. I like, think that. I think they channel that portion. That's, that's the that best like, part. <laughs> I can just like X. I can just take <laughs> this part out yeah. and just like. Yeah, I know. Say we're totally talking yeah, shit yeah, about yeah. Tom Brady, yeah, yeah. and then he'll be like, maybe, and then he'll just watch the video. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Who are these fucking kids? These idiots. I don't know what these guys are well, doing. They were fucking stupid. Yeah. Stupid dudes. How old? He's what? He's, he's over 40, right? He's 39, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, but yeah, I think it, it's uh, what I hear. Somewhere on yeah. e, like ESPN or one of those one of those outlets, it was like he plans on playing till he's 42, I yeah. think. So. And then his goddamn, you know, he's goddamn Tom Brady. It's whatever. Yeah. Did you catch any of the Is that, is that a, I, I can make reverb. You can that. do whatever the fuck okay. you want. I just turned it up a little bit. So I can see Whatever's it. in the headphones is pretty much what people are going to hear. Yeah, I was hearing a little bit of echo, so I was, Fuck I it. should probably turn it up a little bit. But yeah. you know what? I haven't said anything profound yet, so I could go ahead and. Like drop, I don't know some sort of dumb shit knowledge that I have. So no, I know. Get it real. Did you uh, there, so. did you check any of the commercials though? You know, I uh, kind of from afar. Yeah, I don't. 
I fucking hate commercials. I do. I did that. That's the thing. I hate commercials. I think they're celebrated in the Super Bowl because God, it's so the terrible. Super Bowl. It's a spectacle. And yeah. I just consumerism is awesome. Don't get yeah. me wrong. I, it's my. I get. I make money because of people spending yeah. money. So I, I'm okay yeah. with that. But I just like. I have so really hard time with gross spectacle of. Yeah. Of, I mean, like that's probably why I don't like Las Vegas. Yep. It's like gross spectacle, yep. e- environmentally yeah. unfriendly, in the center of a freaking. We're no, go, we we're, we're not gonna go into it. It's okay. I don't want to talk about no. Vegas. No, I no, I'm not saying Vegas as thing. like a place <laughs> to go and play is a bad pl- yeah. place because of what you're doing. Yeah. I think Vegas is a, it's a, it's a bad place to go and play because, because of where of you're doing it. it. Yeah, where, where it is. That, it's, it's, it's asinine. Yeah. It's it's in the middle of the desert. Yeah. It consumes quite a bit of electricity and quite a bit of water that doesn't need to be consumed <laughs> like that. And I'm just saying, as we grow as a species and as we continue to populate the Earth, little tiny resource issues like that will matter. Sure. Maybe they don't now because we're awesome and we yeah. have gilded shit and we're, you know living the high life but one day we'll, yeah. we'll reach a point where we're going oh, fuck that was stupid we kind of wasted <laughs> a, a lot of shit there <laughs> where, where there's, there's no water there's a lot of water again, in there's the a lot of people now. that go there there's a lot of shit out. and a lot of dirt. there's a lot of pools it's too cool. there's a lot of pools uh-huh. golf, golf courses golf courses is the biggest one there's a lot of golf courses here yeah. too I've there's a lot of shit ton that, of so. golf courses down in Arizona too and it's the same yeah. thing it's yeah. like what are you guys doing I might get it golf is rad and yeah. it's really rad to play golf when it's 82 degrees out, yeah. especially in December. So, I mean, I get that, but. <laughs> well, what's funny about the commercials, I did check out some of them, and I thought some of them were good because cool. they. Act, I think what it is is on the Super Bowl now, because they are so expensive that they have to go over the top yeah, yeah, almost. Yeah, yeah, they have to get and I've, some of them come out really great. There was It was hilarious, though. I think there was one that looked like an infomercial. Like It was like two old ladies that came up. Like one of those, like oh, what's you're just bad? like, hey, was this ever <laughs> supposed to be on here as a convert? You know, like yeah. where it's like the dude, you yeah. know, that's selling speakers. He's like, buy it yeah, now. You, you should pull up. Weird. You should pull up commercials critique because, in all honesty, I was intoxicated. Uh, I remember the game. You, yeah, let's let's just do like the top five. Let's I think I hyper focus on on the game itself and I kind of glaze over like uh, Super Bowl like, commercials, sure, yeah. 2017. Now, hopefully, they'll just bring up like the best well, I'm sure we can oh five ones. best and five worst perfect Golden. this is going to be awesome mm-hmm. um, see and now I rail on technology or whatever I'll joke about it but the interweb is it's very the internet the interweb fucking yeah. makes a difference it's in a good, everybody's it's a, life it's a good deal as long as you use deal. it correctly yeah. Well, yeah, I, mean, I think that's where shit gets fucked up uh, I don't want to watch a Ford commercial I don't give a shit about cars Stranger Things is dope I've watched that but that's not one. I don't want to watch a Mr. Cool commercial <laughs> where he's dancing around. Yeah, I didn't think it was. I saw that one. I, I thought that was. What's the T-Mobile shit. punish with? See, I don't even think I saw this one. Let's watch this one. I think this chick's hilarious. This is the. Uh, this is the video. If anybody wants to know, um, technology hashtag punishment from T-Mobile. Uh, that one chick from the, she's on a TV show, uh, Last Man on Earth. I don't know which. One can that you is. see this? <laughs> yeah, I can hear. Okay. It. hate commercials this makes no sense God, it's so terrible was this I hope this is terrible on, I hope this was on a uh, I don't think it was having us go was it terrible knucklehead I don't know we might have just fucked that up. Whatever, real fuck quick. <laughs> that was terrible. That was a horrible. Garbage, garbage, garbage. That's the thing. Like mo- yeah, mo- most, of good. the commercials don't work on Even aging consumers. Ones. I think. I think what works. Uh, that's not really true. My father-in-law. Well, okay, this is this is a true story. My father-in-law <clears throat> bought, went out and bought uh, numerous pairs of Levi's. Okay. Uh, because he saw a Brett Favre commercial where he was playing with his chocolate lab throwing footballs. Gotcha. So, you know, it was a... <laughs> chocolate lab throwing footballs? Yeah, he watched a stupid-ass... He was a 76-year-old, 70, probably two at the time. Your old man watches a commercial where Brett Favre is playing with his chocolate lab and throwing a football, and, and the motherfucker goes out and buys a bunch of <laughs> Levi's. <laughs> Who does? My father-in-law. No, yeah. he didn't. Oh, I swear to God. So I'd like to say that, like, as you age, you get better at, at, at being a discerning consumer and like ignoring commercials. Yeah, but I, I hope so. but the thing is, is they there's there's a reason why it's a, 
billion, however million dollars of the industry. It has everything to do with. Hey, bud. Well, All right, hold on. I mean, that's the point of it. it. I don't really care. This might be on camera. Yeah. Doesn't matter to me. No. That's what the point of the show is. It's yeah. just to be real. Oh, yeah. And not be fucking fake. Yeah. And that's what I, that's what I like, you know? Yep, absolutely. That's what I love about podcasts, just listening to them, knowing that that person's just talking, you know, <laughs> how they would talk, you know? They're not in there yeah. trying to fucking do something stupid yeah. or trying to sell a bunch of shit. Definitely not. You know, but they'll, they'll so. plug they'll plug in shit. You know, they'll plug stuff, but that's a good thing. You know, because but they're plugging things that are real. Well, this is the deal. Once again. If if you know this medium is information trans- transfer, right? And, and so we're just trying to, if you're trying to sell something, that's a that's an okay thing. Yeah. As long as you're you know doing it like an adult would with uh, you know, ethics. So. <laughs> I don't know why everything's fucking dream and bring around. I did. I, 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 I color like coordinated black with everything. This oh, is... I wanted black gut balls and they didn't have any. So oh. Do you want? Yeah. Is that okay? Oh, uh, yeah, please do. I might I might just say fuck it. And, yeah. I was going to. This is legal. This them. is the state of Oregon. Oh, yeah, that's This right. is legal. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, whatever. I, I yeah. The, the one commercial that I liked was the one with Cam Newton. I think I showed it to you. I thought it was pretty funny. Um, where he turns it, you know. Kid turns. It was a Buick commercial, and I'm like very surprised. Mm. I was very surprised to see a Buick commercial, and then just it'd be funny, and it yeah. didn't sell a car. It wasn't like forcing the car in front of your fucking face. I, I do think and that's the most effective it. kind of advertising <gasps> stuff. That's like um, uh, sidelong to the to the, the product or the point. You know, the kind of yeah. piggybacks with it, or 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 doesn't depend on forcing something down your throat but can kind of imply or infer for sure that product I like that much better but indirect advertising is probably what they call it I guess yeah. there's way too much advertising on fucking internet too well look that's what's you go to happen. a fucking website and it just pops right up in front of you I hate it mm. but it's part of the whole it's part of the whole thing somebody's gotta make money somewhere well everybody's gotta make money somehow yeah. somehow for sure only because money is a means of yeah. of wealth transfer or you know translation of efforts in our society, but could that change? Who knows? Not in our generation, I'm sure of that. But for sure, be fun. That was good stuff. Yeah, I like it. I like that. Uh, I like that joint there. That was a nice little joint. Yeah, you like that? That was a good joint. That was pretty good. That was a perfect like change right there. We didn't need too much more. Yep. So yeah, the week has been pretty crazy. Um, work's been fun though. I think we had a pretty good time in there talking, talking a bunch of shit. Uh, yeah. We always have fun. Um, yeah. What we do is we do uh, drafting. So for anybody that knows that, yes, we are. Yeah. Nobody fucking knows that. No one, no, no, no one really cares. I don't so care, that's every, okay. Nobody cares. And it's like it's kind of really important when I think about it. Well, yeah, we serve a function. You know, we're cogs. Yeah, and we're, that's a good yeah exactly. Yeah. We are a cog. Yeah. But we're pretty like we're lucky. In the wheel we, of a we, cog, we're kind of the bottom. Like we're very fortunate. Like we work. We work for a company that's oh, that's, so awesome. that's very cool, yep. and we have a supervisor that's yep. very cool. And, and we, yeah, yeah. We, everybody, in we're our, blessed in our room. Yeah. Tight, tight. And, and I think we are. I think I, all of us. I think even, that we're a good team, even with conflict. We're a good with, team. Well, I mean, I don't think there's any conflict. There's just well, some that, yeah. There's always interpersonal conflict have, in, in every group yeah. dynamic. But the thing is, is, if you work as a team, if you focus on a point and a goal, then oh, yeah. you're going to be cool. We all do that. It's yeah. freaking it's awesome. phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Uh, it's a good, good company. Yeah, we do, we do drafting for houses. Yeah. yeah. Residential construction. Residential. So we, yeah. we help you find your dream home. What we really love to do is to change things for you. To give you the opportunity the to 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 live in your dream. <laughs> well, you it's know we no. Well, it's a boom and bust business. It's a boom and bust business, and so 
I think yeah, I've talked a little bit about this. I, my my hope is that you can ride that cycle a little yeah. bit. And I think it's going to be better this this time around. Well, yes. I, I, I don't think it'll be as bad for some reason. So, so unless we slip into like a like a full like military dictatorship really quickly, which you know I'm like not I'm not saying that's going to happen. Trump, help me out here. I'm not. Very true. Okay. <laughs> I'm not saying that's going to happen, but yeah. but if it does, yep. we're we're all fucked. Yeah. But if if no, it doesn't, I, if if it goes if it goes to a more uh, open economy with yeah. fewer restrictions, especially on construction. Our product won't change dramatically. Yep. We'll still conform with code. Code likely won't yep. change, but what will happen is we'll see a reduction in the amount of plans examiners, and so we'll see an increase in the prescriptive code. Would be my guess. You'd see more like like our typical force transfer detail uh, at a, at a, at a window aperture, right? Nobody knows what the fuck you're talking about. We're talking work. I, I thought. No, I know. Talking. Yeah, we don't have to talk work. No. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You totally were into that. You were like, I'm all, I'm diving in. Work is, work is comfortable. Yeah. No, yeah. Boom, I, pick it up. Well, that's the thing. So we, yeah, we work for a company that's really awesome. And it actually <laughs> makes our lives very much easier. It does. You know, definitely. It does. There's a lot of people out there that fucking do a job that they fucking hate. Yeah. And they do it because of the reason you, you, get know, paid. That you need this. Or a house, that. Look. Or, you know. But we have a really awesome company that we work for. We do. And it's great. Yeah. It's fucking cool. It's a nice environment, and, go, and we don't work in accounting, so we get to keep our jobs for a very long period of time. And we're not going to name sure. we're not going to name this company, by the way. That's just gonna yeah, no, that's gonna stay Definitely. here. But but we're in Central Oregon, so so you can do the math. There's well, let's not let's not let's not talk about math. Uh, <laughs> no, what I was gonna get to was uh, I fucking watched this damn documentary, and I know we talked about it this week, but I wanted to really talk about it because it was awesome. Have you ever seen it? It's Inside Job. It was in mm-hmm. 2010. No, I didn't watch that. It's about the collapse. Okay. Of 2008, mm-hmm. but everybody knows. But here's the thing: I think every I I don't say everybody. That's wrong. I think a lot of people are just blind to it. And we, li- we you know, it that's does. why I brought in our job. We live in that community. We yeah. Live, we, you know, we die and breathe, you know, through that market. Yeah. Um, but everybody else does too. And that's what's scary. To, to a degree, yeah. I mean, especially when they're they're yeah, leveraging they're mortgages. Like and, top 1% that yeah. we all talk about. Yeah, so exactly. Yeah, I don't even think yeah that's, that's 1%. 1%. I don't even think it's that. I think, I think it's like point zero one percent. Those are yeah. the people, you know, like who are who are actual, actually like in charge. Yeah. You, you know, For sure. I mean, yeah. There's plenty of people that will be just fine. Yeah. You know, I mean, mon- money, happened, money yeah. is always going to um, be the. But that's the thing. People don't even know how it happened. People don't know. You know. That's why I recommend this documentary. Definitely. Yeah. It's on Netflix. It's great to watch. It's really hard. I mean, it's really informative yeah so it's a little bit harder to kind of understand just delve in ready for it the cool thing is you pause uh, it and you google you see, yeah, Google. i'm telling you the, the internet is, is is the great equalizer because you can take an information and you can cross-reference it instantaneously and you can do it in a way that's fun and engaging and, and appeals directly to what appeals to you yeah. now it's, it's it's a one-to-one relationship like what do i like type it in boom check it out investigate cross-reference and you can generally you know understand reality pretty well i think yeah through it but it's yeah, no, scary I, no, it's scary for the same reason right. no I, mean, I, think about it. I fucking googled so many, i yeah. pause it and google it i actually even pause it for like it's, a good four hours it's the like, great equalizer where i am and i walked away like going okay i gotta just chill out for a sec because <laughs> it is intense and you're gonna sit there and you're gonna be like you know, I have some notes on it, which is freaking crazy. Taking idea. notes. Oh, yeah, I took some notes. I'm the school in this noise. Uh, we'll find some, but, yeah, we, li- we, like I said, we die and breathe in it, kind of. I mean, we'll, you know, well, everybody, will, yeah. everybody will bounce in and out. Yeah. Um, so hopefully we just, I think, I think we're going to be okay coming up. Well, no, I mean, so, I mean, I know I, I delved into the military dictatorship joke 
Uh, but so for our industry, the question is really like, what kind of regulations are there going to exist moving forward? Will there be fewer? Will there be more? What's that going to do to increase the cost of the product to the public? And, and how is that going to impact the availability of product to varying classes? I think the thing that oftentimes get, gets missed, and, and this is where I think a lot of people have, have legitimate complaints is that as we grow really quickly those who can't capitalize yeah. miss out and get further behind oh definitely and that's the scary thing about a growing economy yeah and that's the scary thing that's, that's how you get I mean, permanent poor and that's that's yeah. when you have generational generationally poor people you need to find yeah. a solution you need to find a way to help and who, them you know, in those cycles and that's the thing who i want to to look into this kind of stuff that we're you know, kind of talking about is our generation you know the yeah. people that are our age like i just bought my first house um you know it's it's a that's a big freaking step for almost everybody yeah. everybody so it's a well, you know so, we know what mortgage yeah when you talk I mean, about it and you know and then and then these kind of things that we've seen happen you get freaked out and you just want to make sure that you're, you know, this is an investment and yeah. it's yours. I just said Google, you know? Google the word mortgage in its definition. I, I believe that it relates directly to death. So does it really? I believe it does. No way. I believe the French. Should we ask her? Mort- yeah, ask her. Ask her what it is. I don't know who that is. All right, I, so I, this I, is. <laughs> that's right. <okay. laughs> it's a technology thing, and you got me high, and then you asked me to talk technology. That's just not. It's, <laughs> this it's, is weird enough. I know. Come no, on, we're shit. gonna figure it out. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do this again. Because I haven't done this yet. Okay, it's like, okay. So, hey Google, what is a mortgage? Mortgage, a legal agreement by which a bank or other creditor lends money at interest in exchange for taking title of the debtor's property with the condition that the conveyance of title becomes void upon the payment of the debt. I don't know. Uh, um, There's a lot of words. How would you ask a question? You asked, you would say. I'm, That's right. I'm, I'm high. No, you'd say, uh, no, it's all good. hey, Google, what's the root of the word mortgage? Hey, Google, what is the root of the word mortgage? Everyone's According to the Democracy well. Party, mortgage equals death pledge. Latin words mortgage literally translates mort means gauge means death slavery equals human mortgages equals debt till death. To High five. Oh, Holy that's so bad. I knew it was close. I didn't want to say exactly what I was going to do. Oh, it even sent me a leak. That's Boom. how in depth it was. Thank you, Google. That the root of the word mortgage was. And so, so that, so that's okay. So that's that had. I'm sorry, I'm excited now. I'm, I'm really excited now. You like that? Didn't no, you well, like I, that? I don't. That's no, the scary yeah. thing. Because okay, that's that's that's, that, that's a passively activated spy network (laughs) that we're like willingly like hey come into my house here let me use you let me let me let you track every single thing that i talk about that's true i really hope not but well i'm not saying that that's going to happen we know that but eventually i mean the the chances are eventually someone with power will want to compile information and have the the means by which to review it And so if there ever is an evolution in, in computing technology that allows for, like, supercomputing on an on a, um, uh, electronics night. See, and now I'm not sounding smart because I can't remember the word because I'm really fucking high. That's okay. Um, a quantum computer. See, so, yeah, there you go. I think I'll have some more. It'll, it'll clear quantum computer. If we get, if we... What's a quantum computer? Oh, yeah, have fun with that. Quantum yeah, computers are cool. So, uh, so if we get that technology, with it, I think is probably a pretty reasonable assumption that we will eventually mm-hmm. master that. Um, then I don't think it's really that crazy to think that you could monitor a, a, a massive amount of people. I'm not saying like everybody. Yeah. I'm not saying they care, give a shit about me, but I wouldn't even be surprised that that a government agency would be able to monitor that. That, yeah. wouldn't, that wouldn't shock me. That, I mean, I know I, I was like, oh, you know, no, I totally you know, was it, it conspirator, I think is the word. Uh, I'm trying not to be that, but I'm just saying it could happen no, one I, day. I understand. <laughs> yeah, for so, sure. Yeah. 
now I gotta get rid of the fucking thing. No, I mean, I'm you know, just leave it out the thing is, the thing is, I'm I'm paranoid and I like the woods and I like to, you know, no, yeah, yeah, like, I, and, I, and I'm I'm in touch with that with myself. Yeah. So I mean, that's okay. Like, <laughs> that's one thing people don't want to do anymore is just yeah. go out and chill. Yeah, I love just chilling. I don't fucking go backpacking in the goddamn woods like some people do. Yeah, but I just like to just chill. Yeah. I love to, I love to I get out and out. be outside. Yeah. I love to be with nature. I love to either be in near open water. Yeah. I, I love to be on precipices. I love to be uh, in all these uh, places. I love love the feeling of just walking into a cave, a dark cave on a hot day. Right? I love that stuff. The thing that is, is actually, that's, that's actually sweet, and I've done that that's all normal. Yeah. And these have, a lot of these have been studied and quantified. Um, and there are many design books about like seeking refuge versus exposure and, yep. and, and these these different kind of figure ground concepts where we're comparing and contrasting conditions and and humans respond to those relationships in surprising ways it's like why you can walk out of like a a, a, a building and be uh, next to a sheer a vertical plane and feel oppressed or magnetized can depending upon how it's designed. I mean, yeah. that's why there are architects because that that's actually a human that's kind of crazy. G- spatial relationship and like yeah. real architects, like really good architects Got it. understand those kinds of conditions really well and can, can literally like make space that people like yeah. want to explore because we have this curious core. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We're really neat little yeah. apes. By the way, <laughs> this guy went to architecture school. Uh, school, yeah. yeah but, uh, I feel like it's weird to say architecture school. Yeah. Like I went to I went to the school of school allied and architecture, like, architecture and what's allied a good arts. Way to say it? I went to the school of architecture and allied arts at the University of Oregon. There you go. I have a degree in. I have in a degree architecture. in architecture. Yeah. I think that sounds better than I went to architecture school. Yeah. Like if you're going to tell somebody, just be like, I have a degree in architecture. Yeah. It's a you know the thing is, it, I, I went it, to architecture school. It's a really so fun. It's a really fun degree to get. You would you would have actually really enjoyed it. it. You yeah, really would have enjoyed it. It was never yeah. an option here. So yeah. Well. It, people who, who yeah, who they are, who they are through options. And exactly. Yeah. You take the best path yeah. in front of you, and you try and make the best choices for, for you. Sure. And every day is a struggle. Some people struggle as harder than others, but yep. make your best choices. Yep. Do your best for you. Oh, for sure. You know. But That's yeah, why I love Willie Taggart. That's why I'm. St- I love that message. Oh, yeah. I love that. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, what have you done today? Yeah. Or the. Uh, the idea of, of taking ownership of yourself and, and leading that way. I think that's really appealing as a formulator. So what do you mean by the spaces with the architecture? Because, yeah, we, I, I just wanted to bring up that you were. Yeah. You, know, um, you went to school for it. Well, so he's not just talking out of his Yeah, I'm not, I'm not totally talking out of it. Well, that's some of it. But it, it <laughs> not, not all of it. Not intentionally, at least. Ways. It, it, um, the, the deal is that... Um, there are it's been relatively established uh, I think scientifically that, that people respond to spaces in certain ways we have these kind of innate urges in, in spaces so yeah. um, some exposures are important in some ways uh, but it's typically in relation to refuge so like mm-hmm. if you have like a um, an architectural space and you want to provide people the feeling of, of kind of exposure mm-hmm. without making them feel super unsafe you provide adjacent refuge gotcha. and there's a psychological link there's a feeling of safety even though they're feeling exposed mm-hmm. um, there are ways to draw people through space typically by light and shape oh, definitely. to bring people like down a long hall that that hall can can grow in a way yeah. that there's an optical illusion as if like it's growing as you're going down it so the there's reverse That's yeah, and there are really interesting tricks hmm. in architecture and in, in using pers- perspective that if, if you want to apply, you can, but yeah. nobody has a budget for that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Typically, it's you know. Fucking, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, um, yeah that's kind of nuts. Mm. No, I, I like it. I dig, I dig the house stuff. What was that? I think that the was place of Jim. Jim's gonna go see that play. What's that mansion called? I can't remember. Oh, there's one. Uh, it's in it's San Francisco, in, right? It's it's San Jose, San Francisco, somewhere right in North Northern right? California mansion. Mo- oh, dang it! The one, the crazy lady. It's got like staircases. It's, no, no, that um, wherever, right? Oh, I just had it. Winchester Mansion. Ah. I think this Winchester Mansion. Hold on. 
that shit. Yeah, this this place is fucking nuts. When I can't fucking spell for shit. <laughs> I think it's Winchester. It was a gun. I'm gonna go grab that beer. Yeah, please do. Oh. All right, we're looking up Winchester. What was it? Mansion? I think, I think Winchester. God, I can't fucking spell for shit. Whatever, I don't give a shit. I don't really care. <laughs> I I would put in Winchester machine, so that was smart. That's three words. <laughs> I really did. Nice. There it is. All right, so this place is in freaking. You can go check it out, right? Victorian, 160 room mansion. It's yeah. the mystery house, the Winchester mystery house. That's what it's called. Yeah, you can go check this place out when Jeez. you go to San Francisco <laughs> if you ever make it there in your entire life. I've never been. I've been to San Francisco, but I've never been to this, so I'm going to go check it out. I would love to go check that out, yeah. Like, what was the whole story behind I, it? I That's believe she, she uh, you know? believed she, w- I, I think, I'll paraphrase. I mean, I can, oh, you can read it? Well, I'm going to no, tell you. No, I'd rather you, <laughs> I'd rather see if you're right. See, okay, we'll take, check out my let's memory. See how, yeah, let's um, see how I believe that she was an heiress of the Winchester fortune, and she basically had, like, a nervous breakdown or a complete psychotic break where she uh, was convinced she was being haunted by the dead of the arms manufacturer and in order to escape them or confuse them she kept building and building and building and building and I think it was like some ridiculous like 40 consecutive years or something or more even of construction so it's going to be long now oh my god (laughs) but if you had 20 million and all the time in the world to help you cope, you can imagine what you can do. So that's how much you make. That's how much what? it was. What year? Do you, it doesn't have a fucking year. No, there's got to be a year in there. Gotta, 1800s, um, yeah. 20 mil. Jesus. Think about that. Do they say it's haunted? I feel like. Well, I mean, like, look. They probably just fake that shit. Well, they, they I think, I think, I think humans are susceptible to the power of suggest- suggestion. I yeah. think that's true. I think that. Um, Although, although I do like the idea that what would it now Alex Jones, um, interdimensional child molesters or whatever that was. That was fucking hilarious. That was hilarious. I, that was so <laughs> I'm not hilarious. sure I can take that seriously, but I really enjoyed it. I, I laughed. I cried. Whatever, that's way too long. I'm not, even, I'm not even close to fucking trying to read that and then sit here. Yeah. That's when you need a third person. That's exactly. definitely when you Young need a third person. Well, You're just like, fuck. God damn it. That's why we'll it out. sometimes you just look at videos or do whatever. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, now I lost what we were talking about. Interstate. See, I don't want to go to interstellar, whatever. The yeah, interdimensional. Yeah, I know we don't do good. I was just inside. Sorry about that. Insane. Yeah, that uh, was very funny. Fuck. What? I don't know, man. Did you watch the game yesterday? The Ducks? Yeah. I watched most of it, man. It was real dis- It was disappointing. a bummer. But, you know, they played well for the most part, and, and then they just kind of, like, had a bad second half. Yeah, and... I don't know what really happened there. It was kind of... <sighs> we'll see. We'll I, watched see. That first, I watched the first half, and I was like, man, this is going pretty good. And I what? was like, dang. And then it went to halftime, and here's the deal. <laughs> it went to halftime, and everything... Because the Ducks played phenomenal really, really, really first well. half. Yeah. Okay? Goes to halftime. ESPN. It's on ESPN. Great. All UCLA. Yeah. On how all the oh they can't do this, oh they can't do that. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. why don't you just say, well we're the Ducks born. played better. Like what? How do these people talk about sports <laughs> and they just brush over well, anything when it would take you how long? I, take you ten minutes to go over the oh, not even the highlights. I mean, you can you just throw right it, before throw you it. go on at halftime. And there's you can a be bone. Like, oh, here's the just, highlights just throw of a Oregon. Just throw a spell. And it's not, you, doesn't, you don't even need right? to do like like like. 10 to 10 or whatever give us like give us like 8 to 2 just give us like 2 minutes of coverage just give, give us like a like a hand well that's the thing it was just halftime so they just wanted to talk like oh you know like it was yeah. quick it was well, it was like any... less than a minute and a half but it was about UCLA I'm like how can you not just think of going the other way it takes about well, 10 minutes UCLA to is UCLA it though ago. it's like yeah UCLA is, and they ended up winning. So yeah. hey, it worked. And that that Walsh guy, like I look at him, I'm like you can't, you are yeah. not, and then and then he's just killing people. Yeah, and I was like, it's, man. Yeah, and then the other, uh, what's his uh, ball? 
Yeah, that dude. That guy just he took shoot. over, and the shoot. Jets couldn't play D. Yeah. I don't know what they were doing, but yeah. hey, I mean, you just wait until the turning anyways. Well, I think I think they, they read something from the Arizona game on to the end of the season. I think they play two through five to end the season yeah, in so the they're league. Gonna play Super so they're, they're playing the top of the league to end the year, and, and they're, they're all tired and, and all that. And then, and then you're also yeah. right into the tournament, so... I just hope they don't have to wait, you know, and try and get that one seed. I want them to actually take it. Does that make sense? Yeah. I, what, what I'd like to see is I'd like to see um, a little bit anything. more driving to the hoop, a little bit less, oh, yeah. a little bit less of the, the handoff, 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 deep shot yeah. thing. But they did a lot of perimeter passing in the second half mm, last night. But when, kind but, of a bummer. but when they're on, they're on, man. When oh, they're yeah. crushing when they're, it, dude. When they're, going, when they're, they're going. shooting, and so they have a chance to, yeah. to go deep in the tournament. But the problem is, you're a sh- jump shooting team at that point. And that's why I'd like to see a little bit more low post, a little bit more drive, dribble, penetration game. Because yeah, if you see that, then you know that's stuff you can typically sustain yeah. in tournament. And, and the shooting, yeah, shooting comes they're... and goes. Well, I've noticed no. when they do get that, it's it's a lot of tur- – there's usually on a turnover. Yeah. They do pretty good on the defense. They're gr- and then when they're getting turnovers, they're out. They're, they're great out, in transition. Quick. And and that's and when they're just dominating they games. games. Yeah, that's when they're dominating. And then when yeah. the other team actually starts making their shots, that's when they kind of, like, slow down. Yeah, and then when there's, there's a couple holes in the stuff. defense, people a little bit tired. You maybe know, they maybe they figured out a player or two that's really working against their defense. And hit a three. Yeah. There's a yeah, there you know, and then that's the thing. The second half, they're going the other way, and they couldn't fucking make a shot. Yeah, so, and overall this the, crazy. overall this year, I've been really pleased with the officiating oh, that I've seen yeah, too as well. I've been good. actually really happy with Pac-12's uh, officials that, that I've seen. So I, yeah, which is sad. This is not normal. Normally, I'm like watching a Pac-12 game, and I'm like, what? What are you doing? <laughs> like, yeah. like you're calling things that like aren't a foul. Any yeah. other conference in this goddamn. Yeah, I know it's it's been fun watching them. Yeah, hell yeah. They're fucking rolling. That Arizona game was pretty sweet. Um, but hey, you win some, you lose some, and yeah. that's why you just want to get you want to get the best possible chance of getting a one seed. I love to and see. That's what I'd like look, to they're see. gonna be they're gonna be a three seed probably. You maybe so? maybe a four no. seed. Yeah, I think they will. But but that's okay. I think that's a good position to be in because I think that uh, you go twelve four, you get through that, and you're in good shape. And yeah, and I, I don't know. I just really believe in their ability if they're on. Um, it seems like Boucher hasn't been doing much. Um, Casey Benson is that guy. You're like, how are you doing this? You're stepping up and crushing life. Like he's 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 so he's so good. Like, yeah. So underrated. <laughs> that guy is fun to watch because he, he, he always, he seems to be shooting much better now, and he always makes the right pass. He never turns the ball over, and like, that's the player that I want in my backcourt. Like, especially when you have players like Brooks who can shoot and Dorsey who can really shoot and, and yeah. score with the ball in their hands. Um, it's really nice to have that guy who will set things up. And so I'm I'm a fan of the team as it's composed, and I really do think that they can win it. All of this year, I'm not going to call that obviously because yeah. there's a lot of uh, talented teams, but yeah, for sure. Why I need to say that out loud? Yeah, because beer is good. Your garage is warmer than mine. I've got the heater right there, man. Not, oh, nice. Dude. No, yeah, it's right there. Yeah, killer. Because sure yeah, we're out in the garage and it's fucking. <laughs> Get one. This guy's a lot tougher than me. I'm getting like cold. I'll have to get drunk to. How you feeling? I'm feeling good, bud. You feeling pretty good? Fuck yeah. Nice. Yeah. I was gonna say. We're ready to talk. Yeah. I'm sorry. I I have the the self reflection. Well, that's the thing. I'm sorry, I don't mean to dominate. I, I no, 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 no. I'm glad. I. That's the thing. I. uh I gotta put the headphones back on, of course. That way I can hear myself. Even though I can't hear myself, which is kind of fucking stupid. It just sounds different when you're in here. I'm I got it. This is gonna be so funny. First, Tim Felsosi's gonna be like You gotta think, this is first first one. So yeah. <laughs> you know, I wanted to do the set for real. Yeah. Because it's a real brand and of course for sure. you know. And then I wanted to do it right. 
with the real shit, yeah. you know, real stuff, sitting here doing it. Um, but I've never done it before. Yeah, yeah, totally. This is so it's all new to me. So I just hope that you know a lot of people will see past that, maybe watching it. Hey, no, this is the deal. Uh, putting yourself out there is the hardest thing to do. I have purposefully stayed off of any sort of internet media for many years. Yeah, that's because I don't use it. I I fucking don't use it that much either, and it's kind of sad. <laughs> what I have to do well and I'm not good at it that's what really sucks and that's why I wanted to do this as well because here I can now just come we get and I get a little bit of something there's a piece yeah. of me out there <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah like, totally no you gotta plant your seeds somewhere I guess because I'm terrible I'm not the internet the Twitter shit and the, oh the, dude I fucking I just the internet, I just want to take good photos that's all I want to do I don't want cheap shit photos online I so I'm just like on my Instagram. I just for the brand. I just want it to be like good photos. Hopefully, they're probably all really shitty. Totally. That's why I never get you know. There goes the bear. Just yeah. Lying. Yeah. I, I, I love this fucking thing. This uh, dude, I want like, one of those. I I need to go do that. These are fucking the best things ever. Absolutely. Not a lot of people ever. have them, but I'm sure you can give them for you. Keeps my nice beer super cold. They're it's radical. a 22 ounce, so you can have like the big bottle, yeah. which is perfect. I feel like for going to a party. Think about it. Hell yeah. Go to a fucking party. Yeah, yeah. I just want one beer, but I don't just want one beer because here's the thing: you can't just do one beer. Well, yeah, but you look know, 22 is a perfectly appropriate amount of alcohol. It's perfect. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a good. Like deal. if you have to drive home. Yeah, as long as you, you know you, you take your time, like, you're there like an hour and a half, you yeah, yeah, two hours, say yeah, two hours. You, yeah, a cup, maybe a snack or two, whatever. Twenty two ounces. No, no, no. And you're good to go. Good to go, and it stays cold. And then once it's gone, and it stays cold. So two hours, you can camp for two hours, no problem. No problem. 24 hours. 24 hours. Is it? Well, and then I don't have a lid on, so I don't know if that's the case. But they sell the 16-ounce ones yep. with no lid for beer. So I'm pretty sure the technology still works for the most part. I've never noticed my beer getting warmer. Yeah. Well, you know, it's a vacuum. It's a vacuum condition. So you, you, yeah, you know. but it doesn't have the top. So. Yeah, you, well, you, your beer's going to get warm. You, I mean, the thing is, it's not losing. It's not losing. So I am getting cold. I'm going to go grab my yeah, you should do that. You're not losing cool f- no, around the whole thing. Like, You're just really losing it from the top at that point. I should have thought about it. God damn it. I'm sorry. You can sit on this thing inside. <laughs> no. That fucking hurt my ass. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> this is a new medium for me. I, I, say, you were talking I was I was I was about just about to like say something really re- repulsive so, so that you wouldn't hear it. Yeah. And then you'd hear it only when you're editing, but I didn't get it out in time, so I was, wasn't really sure what it was. Well, it, say, it would but... stay in. <laughs> I don't want this to be a high pitch shit. No, this is. Oh, this is this, this is all in. What this we is watch fun. is I mean, what we do is what we watch. <laughs> That's the point. I almost forgot about that. Like 20 minutes ago, no joke. I was sitting here thinking about it. Yeah. I was going, I don't feel like this is going very well. <laughs> or going right. And then I go, wait. It doesn't fucking matter. I'm not supposed to give really a fuck about it. That's the whole point. That's why I wanted to do it. I, I, everybody might sit. Now they're going to be sitting there going, it's an art form. Oh, oh no, whatever. I, there's probably a few. Uh, guarantee there's a few. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's an appropriate format there's gonna for be a podcast. Some, no, yeah. If you're going to have a podcast, you must remember the three basic principles. This one is a we don't give a fuck podcast. As in, I'm going to say whatever I want. Oh, yeah. Chris might hold some shit back because he doesn't want some shit out there. I talk too much. Um, That's the problem. But we're sitting here for a reason. (laughs) That's true. I was trying to do like trying to think of things to talk about, and I was like, "Why the fuck am I doing that?" Who gives a shit? You want me to tell stories? Talking about what we're doing right now. (laughs) How about how about how about I tell you about the fuck we're here? How how about I tell you about my worst employment experience? Yeah. So here's the thing. Okay. (laughs) We get a lot of stories from Chris. He's also a big tree guy. Yeah. He'll fucking talk your ear off. You want to talk to a motherfucker about trees? I like trees. We're not gonna do that right now. No, Codley. Talk. Cause then, 
I think we might fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. I hope not. Right, but I'm just saying, like, the genetics is, on this tree yeah. look really good. Oh, f- <laughs> <laughs> it would turn into, like, the porn. Uh, yeah, video. whatever, like, dude. It would go YouTube I make, I, video. Dude, I make, I I make tree cone collection sound badass. He did tell me, what was the fact today? Because I just... Sometimes, do I ever, I'm just going to start doing, <laughs> I, that's what I'm going to start doing with you. Fact of the day. I'm just going to go to you and just be like, Chris, give me a fun tree fact. <laughs> do you oh. think you could beat her? No. No. Do you think she knows Hell all much. of it? Oh, f- do you yeah. think she knows the one about the Yes, the I, bet, I bet she does. Yeah, I bet, you, I bet she does. Yeah. <clears throat> no, 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 no. I okay. want you to tell the people what you know. Okay, so. It was really cool today. So, um. And I may have the flavors mixed, but I don't think I do. Um, if you are in Northern California walking through the woods and you're looking at pine trees, and you're having a hard time discerning whether or not those pine trees are Jeffrey pine or ponderosa pine, there's a neat little trick you can learn. If you go up to the Jeffrey pine and you cut the bark, you don't have to cut the the uh, can be. I mean, you want to you want to keep you it. You don't have to like chop. You don't have to you don't chop. Don't chop the fucking thing down. <laughs> nope. You just need to take a little bit, little tiny bit. You want to be in. You want to be in the bark. Okay. And, and then you smell it. Um, I believe Jeffrey Pine is uh, butterscotch, and Ponderosa is vanilla. But I I might have those confused. Because nope, right now I'm dr- I, I think I'm it. drunk right no, now. I so. think you got it. Oh. Should we ask? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> you know okay, the question. Google. What flavor does Jeffrey Pine bark smell like? We'll see if she can do this. My shit. apologies, I don't understand. Of course, <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. You beat her. Boom. Done. All right. Now we're gonna. Oh. Now we're just gonna go <laughs> so I, we can I, actually just, type mm. it in because we're gonna find out. So yeah, that's a that's fucking crazy. But they might. I, that might have this reverse. Might be. Can you? No, they just smell have like. Have you it. ever tasted it? Uh, no, but I have this tasted. Like, does this really taste? Like it smells like vanilla. No, it smells so good. I just want to taste. It, it. No, it really doesn't. Like you just, you just put your your mug in there and you just like take a deep uh, breath. What it's, was it again? Sorry. Um, the smell of Jeffrey Pine bite. Uh, oh. Jeffrey Pine bark. I don't know. Jeffrey Pine. Uh, you know what else? Other kind of Jeffreys I like. See, that's the thing with this <laughs> thing. It, it's a, you can only really get simple simple questions for you know. They're like, like Jeffrey Pine. I don't know. Mm. Rosa Pine. Uh, Risen Mint. Very described. Uh, tested barking off. Shoot the needle. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Gotta do some reading. Rugged trees with a sweet Son of smell. a bitch. Yeah. Ponderosa Pines. Yeah, I think Ponderosa is going to tell probably you. It's probably it. vanilla. It's probably what it'll tell you. But it won't tell you Jeffrey Pine. Yeah, so it would take the other two. Look that fucking up. Oh, dude. Oh, this right dude. there. Smelling it. He's doing it. See? This There's motherfucker's so doing it. He's got a green now. hat, gray hair, and he's <laughs> mug up on that he's bull. He's like, hey, Mr. Bull, let me sniff that shit out. He just wants to fucking eat He's it. trying to rut that noise. Oh, my goodness. He's getting in there with Jeffrey the nose. Pine, close to the Ponderosa Pine, <laughs> true yellow, and similar smell. Baking cookies. Ponderosa smells like baking cookies. Yeah, it's vanilla. It's vanilla. Boom. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Good way. All right. The aroma may arise. Okay. Yeah. So Jeffrey like, Pine's butterscotch. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's, it's very di- very distinct. Yeah. yeah. That's fucking cool though. Yeah. No. It's yeah, very no, distinct. Very cool. Fucking facts all the time, yeah. and it's super awesome. I was very uh, blessed. I got to work on a Forest Service crew that that, yeah. that did seed cone collections for There's the state of California yeah. and the state of Oregon, Man, and, and parts of the state of Oregon. That you've told so. me about. Yeah. So. Yeah. You can go and rent these fucking tree houses. Well, yeah, look, look, forest, forest service, service lookouts are yeah. available to rent, I believe, off season. Totally and, off the grid. And they're totally off the grid, and they're badass. Like you can go out, and you can basically you are in a glass you case. Know, you uh, know what? I they're not. Ex- they're not expensive. Day. They're not. I don't know. I don't know. And I don't know yeah. what they'll be under this administration. So I, don't, I can't like speak oh, I gotcha. accurately. But I want to say that I looked it up. I remember first told me like a year ago. I Fifty say, a night or something. Like, yeah, I want to say yeah. Yeah, it's like forty-five to yeah. fifty a yeah. night. Yeah. There's this other thing, uh, Central right. Oregoners, uh, and other people. You know, if you're watching in Oregon or you're watching around. Uh, there's teepees. Did you know this up in Canada that you can rent? No, I did not. It's kind of cool. I looked it up the other day, and it's like 45 bucks a night, and it's just, but it sleeps like 10 people. Yeah, yeah. So that means it's a good size, and I think it has a heater or a fireplace inside of it. Mm-hmm. 
and they're like in a grassy area with other <laughs> ones. So it's you know you're next to other people. Got a couple of family friends just, who like, have teepees. Oh so, really? Yeah. <laughs> like out there. Like, yards. like like yeah, fucking hippies. Yeah, yeah. Like, like hippies. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think if I grew up, I grew up. Um, one of one of our family friends had a teepee for a number of years, and, and and no, I no, they just had it, and they're they did country fair. They did country fair. Yeah, you could. I could. No, I could. You, you yes, I could. Oh, okay. Uh, if it, it, like okay, like. It's um, the Arctic apocalypse. No, it's uh, it's a <laughs> me all alone on a prairie, and I'm like trying to hunt shit by myself. I'm probably gonna die. But if like food's guaranteed, <laughs> it's pretty badass. Dude, Native Americans are pretty like, raw, dude. That that lifestyle is That's pretty raw, and you know it's appealing and it's it's terrifying. If like you could do if you could do the Native American experience yeah. with modern medicine, it would probably be the greatest life ever. It, does that make any sense? Would, yeah, so yeah, if, yeah. if you, so if you had, like, a pharmaceutical yeah. knowledge of, like, herbal plants that, that, and, and in a way to distill the essence of, of uh, those plants, which is essentially what modern, modern pharmacopoeia is, okay. um, if you had that knowledge and you could live that transient lifestyle following your food source across, that to me, that's really appealing because that's, like, that is back to earth. Right, and there's no danger. I love being healthy. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We don't have that, so that's. I think. I think that's a neat idea. I don't know. I, obviously, I'm drunk, so fuck it. No, it's all good. Yeah. I think you might have lost me just for a sec, but oh. it's all good. <laughs> you'll go back and listen. You'll be like, "God damn, motherfucker, should write a book." I, have you ever thought of writing a book? Uh, no, no. Really? No. Maybe you should. I. I think other people have. Told where do you this. Where do you start? Uh, I, do. I, I don't know <laughs> like the question is do you yeah because he has some fucking stories that we haven't even got into but this is the thing he can talk knowledge and he can also talk fucking crazy stories about it's mostly, shit that you've done mostly talk shit but yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. well I might have to keep yeah, some yeah. some stories for the next time you come and hang out sounds good because man. it's fucking yeah some of these stories well, I think we're going to get to one well, the truth is, and I'll tell you this, any of you people who live on the rural cusp out there and have children, get them into 4-H. Oh. And I mean this wholeheartedly. Uh, at a young age, at a young age you learn um, a lot of responsibility, a lot of attention to detail that's required, and you have to talk in front of adults about a subject that they know. So it forces you. It forces you to like really focus on what you see. Yeah. And if you can learn to translate what you see to words, you're going to be a, a, an extremely effective communicator. That's that's how I like to look at it. You know what Got I mean? It. Like that doesn't mean much because I fucking have conflict all the time. So. <laughs> So there's that. That's very <laughs> freaking true. Yeah, no, you know, that's because I talk down true. to people. I really don't mean to. I, mean, I, I, I no, should apologize, but uh, whatever. I think it's really <laughs> hilarious. Because, yeah, but then you get these stories. <laughs> I don't have stories. I mean, I have stories like you have stories, but they're usually like by the time I get to the end, I'm like, fuck, that story just. <laughs> Well, you know, and I think it's just how I tell it. There, well, this, so there's an art to storytelling. I, I really do believe that, and, and I think that. Yeah. Again, though, but it, it it's about translating what you see to words. So when I when I tell a story, yeah. it, it, uh, typically an effective story, it's it's because I'm seeing it in my head. Yeah. So when I'm when I'm doing good, um, uh, when I'm doing good work, like say I'm. Uh, designing something and really happy with how yeah. it turns out it's yeah. the same kind of thing oh for sure you know what i mean yeah in your head yeah is that what you, that what you said yeah, yeah okay yeah no i do the same thing you know do you mean like when you're designing you kind of just like i go into the that, plan in my head it's that flow state kind of thing That's where you like you get into it yeah and you're like your your brain you're like in it you're thinking about things you're and you're visualizing you're spending all that time in your visual oh for sure part of your brain like yeah. like Constructing a world. I don't know. No, dude, I, I think you're probably fucking right. <laughs> I think it'd be awesome. I don't know. Yeah, I think it would just have to be like, 
what you've done. Yeah. I, and then do people read it? I don't know. No. But why not? Well, I th- I, th- I think that what I what I can do, I think the, the the book that I could possibly write one day would be a story or like a, a compendium of anecdotes where I'm like, is that the thing? Would it have to like? It have to be into short stories that are like anecdotal, like. Oh, that'd be so. That's that'd probably what cool. I could do. That's probably yeah. what I could do. Or so. okay, so you do have this story about this guy. <laughs> are you talking about my former employer? Yeah. You do have some great oh. stories. How many stories do you have? Because I, I have a, not, I have a lot of stories. Only like one. I can talk. Because I think you are going to tell them. Because I'm going to go into what we're talking about. <laughs> and you're like, it'd just be a bunch of short stories. Um, <laughs> how badass would it be to make like a comic book about that guy? Dude. About the okay, shit. well, let's not use his name because we can't use his name. No, we but won't. we can create that character. Oh, even better. <laughs> you have the script man you but the thing is, is like we we would what create do you want to call them? Mm, i'll have to think i'm on that okay because okay. yeah, because well, because i think i think there's write, a really good way to convey the individual's right? essence yeah. in, in terms of a name and so i think that we could um, come up with something else but uh, uh I, I could so the, to preface the story <clears throat> i worked a number of years um uh in the woods uh starting uh uh, running a chainsaw at eight, yeah. 18 fuck, fucking up a bunch of chaps and then learning what I was doing uh, finally it clicked and uh, did a lot of thinning and then some hazardry removal uh, a lot of tree planting oversight uh, a lot of hiking Got it. in the woods that kind yeah. of stuff uh, long long yeah. Uh, experience so yeah you work for so, yeah. and Forestry. then and at the same time I was attending architecture school and okay. in 2008, the uh, I graduated. I was like, "Oh, glory be! No more temporary Forest Service job, out in the world to design where you can impact <laughs> society and make people's lives 2008. awesome." 2008, perfect timing. And uh, got a got a phone call. We were here. I was like, "Oh fuck yeah! I got some interviews. I'm like, Crooks nice. this noise." And then <clears throat> I got a phone call. I got a series of phone calls canceling interviews and I was like okay cool oh, and so man. back in the woods it was oh. but uh, that was again a temporary appointment and and the, the term of my employment was continued upon attending school and so I could only finish out a small portion so I was yeah. like well what the hell I'll go ahead and see what jobs are out there yeah and the only job I could find was a Craigslist job Nice. For tree service work. I, find, I <clears> found <throat> this job on Craigslist, right? so I'm so stoked. Did I. So I'm stoked, too. Yeah. But uh, at that time, that was the first Craigslist experience. and um, First? My first. Really? Yeah, that was, uh, would have been, yeah. Pretty much all my jobs I found on yeah. Craigslist. Yeah. <laughs> See, but, well, no, it just means you're it's a, good a little bit yeah, more of that technological spectrum or whatever. <laughs> Um, I went and, and I got, I got, yeah, yeah, exactly. Most of my jobs were classified jobs, like up until that point. That's awesome. Um, so I, I don't uh, think I've ever looked right. <laughs> I'm not that much older. Than I, you, no, I? no, I have. I think I found my. I'm, I'm only I think 34. I found my second car through the classified. How old are you? 30. 30. I have. See, I'm only four years older than you. So yeah, so it's yeah. not that much. Yeah. But, but that's the thing in our. I think in our generation... There's a huge change. There's a huge change. There's a huge change. Some even going up, but you could have, like, a person, you know, that is, like, a little bit more technological, even at, like, close to 40 right now. Oh, yeah. And then you can have ones that are old kind of souls that are, like, 25 right now. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's all over the place. It's all over the place, and it's just, yeah. And and I think I'm probably um, odd in some capacities that way, but... Yeah, I forgot where I was at. No, I think you're. I think you're just fine. No, you're talking. Um, oh, your job. Yeah. You okay. So, so I got on Craigslist, and, and so uh, it's a tree service job in a small town in in, in Central Oregon. And, okay. Um, I was like, oh man, I can do all that. I mean, I'm certified. Yep. Federally to do all that stuff, and I've got extensive experience. So. It's like, okay, fuck it, I'll do it. And so yeah. go show up and do the interview, and, and he has me climb. I do some limbing and stuff. And it's like, dude, if I can do this, it's fine. Like, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I'll do I it. know how to fucking do it, man. And, uh, and he's a little condescending, and <sighs> it's a pain picture. Yeah. Uh, Here comes the guy. 
five foot four. Uh, Comic book. I'm just yeah, five, five four. Very red red hair. Got, okay, red so hair? picture the okay. um the Travelocity gnome oh. with red a red big old red beard. Big old red beard. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How was it? Was it always a hat? Was it like a hat? No, just as he like he literally looked like a garden gnome. Like you could like put him in the yard. Yeah, but what was, was the hat? Did he have the red? <laughs> he just had. He, he just had. He just had red hair that was I like kind of pointy. But I feel like all. Of, oh, he had red hair. <laughs> yeah. That was pointy. Yeah. So. Oh shit! So he does. Look I'm like a like gnome. not fucking joking. Oh, my bad. So, which is, I'm not, I'm I not okay, first of all, really? I want to be really clear, I'm not going to degrade people who have red hair or people who are short. I mean, I, my last, know, yeah, right? yeah, I give my last name and, like, given my growth history, I'm not going to make fun did of you, Did those. you say your last name? I have not, no. I didn't think so. No. Okay. Um, like, we can say it if you want. I don't care. No, 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 no. Okay. I think it's funny. <laughs> we'll do it another one again okay. in the future. Oh, yeah. Give me some bombs here. Oh, it's going to be so um, awesome. So we get, we get up and, and I get up at the street, knock down the whole thing. It's in his backyard. Garden Gnome is, is, um, is uh, unfortunately unable to say his R's or his L's. So it's okay, Mr. C- Mr. Small. Okay, oh. okay, Mr. Small. I think that you can kind of climb, but I'm not really sure if you can really lead people. So uh, I want you to come in uh, tomorrow, and we can fly out a day at work. <laughs> okay, fine, that's fine. So we have a garden. Though. So we get in there, and like we go to work, we do our thing. We're good. I'm like, cool. I got a job. Fine. I, I get paid okay in the tree, and it's, it's 2008, man. Yeah, not that big a deal. People take take what you can get. Hand. Take what you get. Yeah. <laughs> take what you get. <laughs> and so this guy's a nightmare. Um, first day we go to a uh, canyon rim to go cut this big kind of what we would call a wolfed out ponderosa it means an open grown ponderosa big wide canopy okay. on the south facing flank so it kind of has what we call a pistol butt yeah. which it means it's a, re- it. it's a recorrected growth and so it looks like one of those old like Spanish pistols Right, one of those old like sloping profiles of the bull as it connects to the ground. Oh, okay. Right? Interesting. It's called a pistol butt, and so that, it's a correction thing. It goes up, and, and then most of the canopies on the south, on the downhill side, because that's where you get the most sun, so the branches grow longer there. Okay. So it's a, it's a pretty complex hmm. fall, right? And yeah. So it's something that, like, if you're a really good faller, you know how to read, you understand, okay, these are the factors. There's wind coming from here. There's open canopy. I'm looking at this. I'm looking at that. Pop, 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 pop. So, <clears throat> my first day for him, he has me go to cut this tree. I'm like, okay, I can do that. Yeah. Do you want? I do. Yeah. Go for it. Um. Oh okay, yeah, I don't want to lose no, the story. No, we got the time. <laughs> it don't fucking matter. I remember the story. You're, yeah. Yeah, you're sitting at a fucking crazy looking tree. I want to know what the tree lo- would look like. So, what would you say would be the easiest thing to Google right now? Uh, if you Googled a uh, forty-two inch pistol butt. Ponderosa pine. What if I just go pistol butt? Just, just, just go uh, uh, get a big ponderosa pine. Just big. On a slope. Big. Right. God. All these fucking big words with you, man. Ponderosa. <laughs> I'm really terrible at fucking whatever. It'll do like Google. Said, man, Google the great equal. I don't really give a shit. Well, fuck it. I'm on. I'm I'm horrible. Whatever, I'm horrible at like, spelling. So we were talking. We were talking about it. We were talking about a trauma. Wall. Like, how do you spell trauma? I'm like T R A U M. Like trauma. I'm like, oh, T R A U M. And like T R O M B E. That's why I have Google, man. It just see. It just tells me after I put it in, it'll just be like, do you mean this? Fuck yeah, I mean that, man. That's exactly what the fuck I mean. Put it the fuck in. <laughs> Thank you. Do that in the first place. Thank you, Google. Why don't you just auto correct it like a fucking iPhone? Yeah. So because usually an iPhone auto corrects. Yeah. But it's always the wrong <laughs> fucking thing. I'm gonna check these cameras. So basically, when you when you're dealing with a tree like that, you're late and looking at like a compound lean and a compound loading situation, and so yeah, this some some complex stuff. So I step up to the tree and I read it, and I'm like, okay, this is the deal. This tree is going right over here. And do the read. I report to the boss. I've got two other helpers there. I'm like, okay, Caleb, you know, it's basically going here. You guys need to get out of the way. It's going that way. I put my face cut in. <clears throat> I start, you know, you know, what I've always been taught is you, you cut. Not all the people at, will know what you're fucking talking you about. You That's okay. He's, gonna, he's cutting it. Oh yeah, we're gonna right. we're, no. So yeah, so this is the deal. We're cutting a tree, you got steps. We'll walk you through this. I tell a lot of people this. 
Okay, so <clears throat> you step to the tree. You, you address the tree is what you call it. And then you put in a horizontal cut. That's, that's the beginning of a face cut. Yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> that determines the, the angle, the azimuth of fall. Right? Yeah. De- degrees from north. Oh, yeah. Um, and so <clears throat> you kind of read the tree. You kind of figure out where it wants to go. And then you figure out where you want it to go. And you try and figure out how to accomplish that. And okay. so you use the the face cut to establish your, your desired line of fall. And then you use the holding wood behind it to figure out how that energy that exists in the tree can translate to make it happen. So if you're really, really good, you can turn trees mid cut. You can have them fall and turn. Oh, no shit. Yeah. And, and so By I'm using a fall line, right? <clears throat> I went out. No, no, not, not, not time. using any tag lines. Just by cutting mechanics, oh. just from the, the dynamics of it tree cutting fucking, itself. It so. was cool. <laughs> Total different thing. Well, so, so this guy, so the, the industry standard is to cut at comfort. You want to be safe when you cut, always. Yeah. You can always low stump. You can always address your cut afterwards, right? You can clean up your, your workspace when you're done. Okay. When the hazard is gone. So you always want to cut comfortably, safely. Mm-hmm. So... <laughs> I got to dress this tree, cut it comfortably, start my face, cut it like hip height. So boom, put in that cut, start it, go, he hits me on the head. I'm like only like an inch in the tree. Hits me with the stick. I'm like, what, what the fuck? What's going so on? So you're on the ground. I'm on the, no, I'm, I'm standing. And so I would be, if the, the slope is here, the okay. tree is doing something like that. All right. I'm, okay. I'm coming from top side. Yeah, that makes right? sense. Okay. So I'm, there I'm, I'm cutting it comfortably. So instead of uh, instead of cutting here, yeah, I was cutting like this. Got right. it. So comfortably. Cut, cut, cutting it comfortably. Yeah. Right there. Cut it and to so, fucking comfort. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's how you that's how you're safe. You want to be in an athletic, comfortable position because if anything comes down, you you need to get the fuck out of there. You get out of there. Really yeah, you got to be be able to fucking sprint. <laughs> exactly, and you have to be cognizant of that when you're when yeah. you're falling dangerous dead trees. So when you're doing that, you. I'm like, I'm putting this cut in, and he hits me. I'm like, what the fuck? Because you don't do that. Once once a cut starts, you stay the fuck away from the cutter. <laughs> the The only person who has any reason to talk to them is their safety, who is setting the wedges. That was my boss. So he had a right to address me, and he had the uh, right to interrupt me. But it's reserved for danger. Yeah. It's not what happened. What, what transpired was, <clears throat> he said, <laughs> this is... Off the cuff impression goes, Quiz, <clears throat> what are you doing cutting, cutting like that? Like, I'm not certain, sir, what you're talking about. And he's like, Quiz, <clears throat> industry standard, cut four inches off the ground. I was like, F- four inches off the ground? He's like, four inches off the ground, Quiz. I'm like, okay, so, <clears throat> you sure? Because that low on this tree, we're going to be in that root collar, and we're going to be cutting mineral. Four inches off the ground, quiz. Okay, <laughs> that's all. For chainsaw, I'll do it. So, <clears throat> this was after, by the way, and I forgot this in the initial setup. He chastised me for grabbing the uh, 440 saw because a, a wheel saw ya can cut this tweed with an 036. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? For those of you who don't know, which is most of you, that those are uh, steel chainsaws, a 440 MS. Versus a 360, so okay. and it's it's a totally different saw. Like <laughs> this is a, and the rule is, for those of you who don't know, because a lot of people do, you use the biggest saw you can. <laughs> do you know why? You know it cuts quickly. You look like you're a little cold. Little cold. I know I'm getting a little cold. Yeah. Still, I'm like, God damn it! I was really hope, I was really hoping that it wouldn't get that cold, but <laughs> yeah. we're still in the winter. Dude, this we gotta funny, remember dude. that. This is beautiful. That's I what's love your that's what's crazy. I can't wait until summertime because I'm yeah. like, I'm wondering, I just open have it up. open. Hell yeah. Fucking have it open and do it. Hell no yeah. one's fucking around here. There's like a little fucking creek behind me and shit. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's pretty sweet. Well, it's an alleyway too because yeah. I'm in the garage, so it's behind my oh, fucking house. Beer. Yeah, and yeah, please do. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if I want to yet. I don't know. Maybe. I throw it to you. I fucking might. <laughs> you never know. Trump, give me some news. Oh, Jesus. I'm starting to get into your head. 
<laughs> wow. Oh shit. He's already in it. I don't even remember where it was. Um, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> hit me in the head. Anyways, so I go and I'm like, fine, I'll oh, cut yeah, it four fucking had, inches. Because you wanted the bigger. Yeah. Well, I was gonna. You should have had the bigger. I was gonna use a humble instead. Saw, right? Yeah, bigger saw. Use a smaller saw. Cut it, comfort. Fuck you, comfort. Stupid, because you're an idiot. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I'll four cut it four inches. inches. So I'll just chew up your chain, eat a bunch of dirt yep. with your saw. Yep. Fucking suck all that in the f- uh, air filter. Thumbs go. up, you dumb shit face. Uh, but yes, I did it, and you go from the Humboldt, which is a cleaner cut and gives you more usable wood and less likelihood of, of barber chairing. Okay. Um, which is where you put the face cut horizontally and you put your angled cut up from the bottom. So when the tree cuts, when you release it at even at an even cut like the original cut, the log itself provides kickback uh, safety. Oh, really? Because it falls into the face. The other way is a conventional cut. And that's what you see where you have a horizontal cut and an angled cut and then what you call uh, your holding wood and your uh, fucking It's all good. (laughs) He called it neck wood. I'm trying to remember the real wood. There's a whole thing. There's a whole new story there. Oh, okay. (laughs) I'm a little intoxicated. Or he would pull it like to match, but uh, so so basically, it's it's a safer cut. Okay. Humboldt's a safer cut if you know what you're doing, uh, and you have more log that you can keep and save and use. Got it. Uh, so it's what loggers tend to use, and that's uh, what people who know what they're doing tend to use. Got it. So, um, but instead, I had to go to a conventional forester because was no way I'm getting an angle cut <laughs> in, the, yeah. in the bottom four inches, uh, and get through that. It's a double cut on the back side, set my shelf, start uh, my secondary cut in the double. You set a shelf as you scribe, basically you do a plunge cut and you cut, you know where that line is of the face cut. Okay. And you plunge cut and you drag across. Got it. Then you set a compression replacement wedge. You do it on the compression side. Okay. Of the cut. And then you nail in a compression replacement wedge. Got it. And then you rip through that cut to set your hinge on the other side of the face and you plunge it. God right. damn. To cut a tree. <laughs> People. It's fun as hell. It is so much fun. Do not go the fuck in your backyard if you're ever like, mm, I don't want to get rid of that fucking tree. Yeah, call somebody who knows what uh, they're doing. I want call to get somebody rid of that fucking tree, man. I can't I'm going to go out there and I'm going to tie a line to it and I'm going to fucking cut it and I'm going to pull it. Don't. I think the, uh, the, a, a 24 inch, I think it's a 24 inch ponderosa round that's that's one foot. I think it weighs 200 pounds. You can Google that. They have like they have uh, per 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 foot. They have they have. How much shit you've talked about trees? I'm gonna fucking believe anything. They're super heavy. So it's fucking heavy. So if you're cutting if you're cutting a 24 inch tree that's a hundred hundred foot tall. Yeah. And probably yeah 180 somewhere in there. Uh, that's a shit. You can kill load of weight. <laughs> a lot of weight there. So. So Anyways, so I, did, so I do this cut, cut, and I'm doing the back cut, and I'm committed. Like, the tree's moving. Like, you can, when, you, when you're cutting, especially using an underpowered saw, you can feel that tension in, in the, the butt log, right? So when a tree starts to separate, okay, your tension is moving from the outside of the, the tree where your cut started. And you're in every, with every cut, that tensional load of that lever Okay. That's swinging out there is moving closer to that face cut. And so when it reaches critical mass, it snaps and it falls. And it falls. Okay. Yeah. So, and that's when you have a, a, a bending break, a failure yeah. in bending. Right? But it's going the way you want it to But be. it's going exactly where you want it up. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm doing that. And so as that tension moves to the tree, you can really feel it in the saw and how the saw responds. And you know you're getting close because it, it starts being less grabby on the Okay. On the chain itself, it starts cutting quicker and like it Got feels it. a little bit lighter and okay. it's kind of a nuanced feeling, but you can tell, definitely feel it. So I was there, like it was going, and I get pow, 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 and top of my helmet, and I'm like, what the fuck? And like it's there, I'm like, and he's like, cut it off, turn it the fuck off. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like okay, <laughs> turn this off, pull out. I'm like, what's going on? He goes, <clears throat> let's see if I nail this because it's, it's totally remember it's a fucking asshole. He goes, uh, <clears throat> Chris. He's actually pissed. So he's like, You fucking. He goes, Hold on. God damn it. 
Uh, I got. I'm going to pull this bitch. I can pull this up my head. I'm going to pull this up. He looks at me, and he goes, "Quiz this this tweet." He's sending my widget, by the way. So what that means is, as I'm cutting, as I'm committing to this face, there's he he set a wedge behind the chainsaw blade, and it's driving that wedge to help the tree want to go over. Got it. Right. Okay. So this he's applying physics too. And it's a giant tree. This, this is a 36 inch at least. It's big. It's 24, 36. I don't know. It's, yeah. big, it's a big fucking tree. It's yeah. a big fucking tree. Very heavy tree. And when you're falling on a cross slope with a pistol butt, you have to know what you're doing. So on the uphill side, when it's a southern facing slope, yeah. you have to leave more holding wood than on the downhill side because there's a shitload of branches that are facing south on that yeah. downhill side. It's southern aspect slope, so it's facing south. So all those branches are applying a shitload of force over here. So in order to let this tree go like this, you have to your your holding wood has to be different. It has to be a long triangle, basically. Okay. Um, and so that's I knew, I'm like boom, computer, and doing this, and this fucking guy does this, and he says, he goes, I think this tree is sitting on the wedge. I'm like, uh, you know, you know, in my experience in training, the best thing to do is to commit to this. Oh, cut. so it's on what he was pushing. And and he's is and that he's what saying, you mean? yeah. And he said, and when when you when a tree so when a tree's sitting on a wedge, uh, it, it's okay. When a tree sits back and pinches your I'm bar, oh, okay. you're fucked. But if the chainsaw is running and pulling, your bar is not pinched. <laughs> right and and so so, you, so your your your, your your wedge is your protection against that. Against. No, he's an idiot. So he doesn't understand the dynamics. And so what he should have done is let me c- com- commit to the cut a little further yeah, and going. and kept hitting the fucking wedge. And in about three seconds, it would have fallen down. But he had uh, he had no idea. So he goes. So I said, well, my training tells me to commit to this cut and just knock it down. He goes, yeah. well, what did your training do- tell you to do when your boss tells you to do something different? <laughs> And so my training tells me to do what my boss oh. wants. If you'd like me to backfall this tree, I can backfall the tree. But I'm, it, at this point, but I'm, I'm telling you right now, if I backfall this tree, it's going to sit and yeah. pinch. I figured and, out this. <laughs> right, yeah. It's like inside out, the fire one. Yep. That's what it is. But think of a think of a gnome, and yeah. now like and he's just an angry little that's guy. He's just an angry little guy. Yeah. And and I told him, look, I'll backfall it. It's fine. I'll do it. And for those who don't know, a backfall is a committed upper cut. So you're basically saying that the wood that you've cut below is fine or above. If you cut too high, you can do a back cut below. It's okay. not, not that safe. You should really be cutting above, but okay. things happen. Got it. Um, you're, so what you do is you basically address it to the, the appropriate lean and fall. But he w- didn't want it to go down the hill specifically, which is the... Yeah only really safe way in that instance to back fall the tree. Got it. But it had in my estimation enough wood because it was a big fucking tree. Okay. It had a couple of a couple of you know eight bys across the tree. Eight by you know sixteen, eight by thirty two beam is basically what it had left. Got it. At at four inches. Right. Oh, shit. And so Okay, so that, that's that's probably strong enough. So I'll try a conventional backfall. I can set a wedge if I have to, but I was convinced it was gonna fucking pinch. And so, just lo and behold, boom, do the cut, pop, 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 and it pinches about the two and a half inches into, like, not even a full bar depth, oh, man. into the cut, and he's pissed. He's fucking embarrassed and pissed because I told him he did exactly what I told him to do. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, and so he he goes, Caleb. Give me your saw. And I was like, he goes, you're going to set my wedges. He goes and grabs Caleb's saw and he addresses the tree. He goes, I thought he was re- calling you, Caleb. No, he reinserted back into my cut and he overcut the motherfucker. It was faced perfect on, okay. online. Perfect. It was going exactly where I wanted it to. No, it. no two ways. It went down the hill by about 20 degrees and the motherfucker is like, you can't fucking set a face cut to save your life. I'm like, oh my god! And, and, but if you here? but if you look at the stump, if you look at the stump, it's anybody who can do stump analysis would be like, who fucking did this back cut? This back cut is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was day one. That was day one. I made it six weeks. No way. I made it six weeks. Oh shit. No, he no yeah, it didn't way. it didn't end really well either. So. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he's no, he's a 
cool guy. Six weeks. Six weeks. How many more stories do you really have? I probably could tell you just about him, probably 10 or 15 stories. Oh, my goodness. That'd be so much. So. That's so awesome. <laughs> I have a lot You're of fun stories. Super selective. Yeah. The yeah. best part about that fucking story was the fact that it was the first fucking day. First fucking day. And I was like, oh, oh no. Goodness. I fucking hate the first day. Well, because the thing is, by that time, that time, I, I, I honestly could have filed for unemployment and not taken that job and taken my time to find a job that was befitting yeah. my training and my um and, yeah well Take it more so i could that was a choice right and so what i chose instead was to go ahead and be like okay no i'm gonna take this job and yeah. i regretted it because it was it was six weeks of fucking misery yeah no joke. and it cost me unemployment and i was unemployed for three months after that anyways because I had to wait for my a ten through I, I applied for a ten through nine. I fortunately got it, so I got a, a governmental temporary got governmental ap- appointment to then continue the seed cone collection work in Southern California. Oh, very cool! So yeah, I was able to. I did it under YCC, so I was able to uh, run YCC crews um, and you know, maintain funding through that and give kids some skills out yeah. in the woods, while then being funded. Um, yeah. To go down to California and do the yeah, well, tree climbing um, hold shit. Hold on. So I think I figured one out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you want to go another story? Sure. How yeah. you feeling? I'm good. Yeah. I'm warm now. I'm feeling much Are better. Are you feeling warm. better? I was getting really tense in my back. I felt like I was well, like no, I was turning to like a, like a fucking troll. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still kind of feeling that yeah. way for sure. I think yeah, <laughs> we're definitely like leaning over more. Well, this is nice. I uh, think I should have definitely made it maybe a higher tail. I don't know. Now I'm kind no, of. No, dude. You think I think your table's. I do. Okay? I think you're great. I think you're golden. Right. I like your setup. I think I'm gonna have to go take a piss here real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like take a breather. Yeah. The best part is, um, <laughs> it's video. <laughs> so if we want to stop, we can stop and then we can start it up again. Oh yeah. And then we'll know because we'll just. That's right. So like cut. Kind of. Uh, uh, and. Just taking pisses. <laughs> we don't want to take video of that though. I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Ooh, that's a that's a line. Okay, that's not... All right. Okay. So I was going to tell you the story of the end of the contract. Well, no, hold on. We were just talking about something else. Oh, what were we talking about? Fuck, I don't remember. That's that's why I was going straight to the story. No, that's like, why that's it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna cut. Okay. It. <laughs> gonna no, it's gonna make yeah, sense. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Check uh, it. It's a video. You're watching a video. We just cut. We turn it off. We come back. <laughs> he was thinking we're gonna go into something where it's gonna make it sound like, oh, we're back from whatever. Uh, yeah, back no, no. Well, yeah, exactly. Story. Yeah. So, so, so we're we're keep, different yeah, different story. Well, we're already pivoted, but no. we're gonna go back to a cool story. But no, I want to talk about what we were just talking about when we were off. What were we talking about? What you were talking about? What we were talking about? It's the, the end like of a, the animation. Like, oh, uh, somebody that knows visual yeah, arts. We this, don't know. We don't know anybody. anybody. And it would be awesome if there's somebody out there. So this is the idea, and this is the main reason why we're sitting here. And there's a lot of reasons of other things too. Um, I just want to do a podcast for myself because I want to sit here and I want to talk. Yeah. And I'm going to talk about that, obviously, in the introduction one. So. If somebody's seen the introduction one before this one, they might think <laughs> what I'm just talking about is fucking weird. Well, whatever. We'll fucking figure That's it out. Matter. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> but I just want to talk about it with you as well because it kind of makes for you know, stuff to talk about. That animation is uh, fantastic. Uh, but definitely what we're be nice. About is the story, and we've seen podcasts, and we've, you know, people take stories and they make these really great animations to them. They make, you know, Really cool videos of like a story. I don't even know the, do it with the program to anything. use. Um, they can do it with anything. But why I kept saying comic book because I was like, that'd be. I feel like it'd be a really funny and really cool visual comic book with somebody fucking <laughs> with a fucking chainsaw <laughs> and this gnome looking motherfucker tapping on the head. Ah. And it, you know, it's <laughs> yeah, just like totally. a picture of a comic book. So I want somebody out there if they watch this. 
Hey, at least think about, tell us what software to learn. Game. I want you to fucking make it, and I want you to fucking no. Send it to tell us what software email. to learn. Fuck that. Like, it, it, oh, it help. Learn how to do fuck it. yeah. Do we be better at it than those fucking to. guys? No. Think about There's it. There's somebody, else, but no, I want to find the person that yeah. does it though. Okay. That's the thing. I want to encourage <laughs> the person that knows how to use the program, that wants to do a comic book and wants to send it, and we'll fucking show it off. Yeah. We'll help. I want to help. Yeah, well, help I think other people. That so we, I don't know. So I, some hor- horizontal integration. Go, get somebody in here who can, can help through, out with all that. I, I like can't that. go through where you know. I don't need everybody. No. Oh. I kind of want to help people. Yeah, I let's see. I does I, this help that? Yeah. I think storytelling You're helps. I, no, yeah, I think storytelling helps. helps. Right? I think storytelling helps. Yeah. I honestly do. I think like I, was, I think. Uh, Everything what we're is, what we're no what what we're exactly exactly what we're lacking in our society right now is is commonality and yeah. the thing that stories bring to what do we do interaction do is we commonality know? yeah exactly well, we send pictures on Instagram that's what we do well look I don't we think say something see, stupid on I think that's what is market go, I cool, think whatever. that is the I think that is the uh, froth that is the head of the beer. That is that is the shit that's on the surface. That's what you see. You see exactly. social media. You see yeah. media on TV. You don't see how people socialize in the regular, and like interpersonal socialization and interaction is far more important than any of that shit. And, the, and what I I think part of my technophobia is that I reject the fact that we have to be beholden to like social media and and that bullshit. And like like I'm allowed to be a person with opinions, and I'm allowed, allowed to be allowed flawed. To <laughs> yeah, no, and I'm not hating on that. I'm not hating on that. I'm totally no. I get, but it's not. It's not. This isn't social media. This you is this is that. transmission of message. This is information dissemination. This is different. Social media. Social social media. Social media is. 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 Social and that's why I'm sitting here, and that's why we're doing it because we thought because there's this a... is a better way to connect. I'm connecting more with you sitting right here, and then not only can we have other people connect with us listening and watching. Yeah, and you know, maybe maybe they think we're assholes, maybe they think we're awesome, maybe they think whatever. But the the fact yeah. is, is that the more the more of the the commonality of people that, that we can all share and see, the better our society will be. Yeah. And like the, the more people realize that, that we're essentially pretty similar, and there's no need to be fucking plus, stupid to each other. Plus, you learn a lot of cool shit. Yes, you learn. Learning is fucking so awesome. Much stuff. You want to talk about? I hated school. Like, I love learning. Here's the thing. Yeah, one. I wait. You hated school. I hated school. I love learning. You like just learning things that you wanted to learn about. No, I or like. I, I I don't mind structure. I don't mind. I don't mind structured learning. Okay. I like. I like structured learning. Like, it's like nice. School. No, I just didn't. I don't like. I don't like the social aspects of. Got it. Group dynamics. Yeah, I, don't, I love school. Because like that shit's stupid to me. It's like, I like I spend the so much. Part of school. I hated that shit. Here this yeah. <laughs> That's why. And that's you why know, I proselytize. Like yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's why I like sound like a preacher sometimes. And I, I don't mean to. I don't. And so I apologize for that. So. No. Jeez, why would you need to fucking yeah. apologize? <laughs> that's one thing that I fucking. Oh man. I just. I love telling people. I, no never apologies. Apolo- never yeah. apologize for what you you are. Never well, apologize for yourself. I wanted to make sure that I told the story because I think this. Are, so I, I think this story. Yeah. I think you'll appreciate the story. Trump, I need some. I need some. <laughs> I love war. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, he needs to work on his. Damn fucking... it! Did I light this or did you light it? We it was lit and it, it fizzled. I took my took mine. Um, I was gonna tell you a story of the 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 end of the contract, where we uh, we did this. this oh no no no! no, no. But you have to start with it. We yeah. can start from the beginning. Yeah. All right. Start from the end. So Which you're telling me this little story, and I feel like I'm gonna move it along just a little bit. Yeah, he's gonna help me. Um. We finished a huge He's contract. Working. Okay, what? Uh, how old were you at this time? Uh, I was Shit, mid to mid to late mid to late twenties. Um, yeah, mid twenties. Um, we were doing a seacon collection project uh, for reforestation of the Region Five. Um, uh, many of the Region Five forests. 
Okay. Um, it's stretching from Mount Laguna in Southern California, which is just north of the Mexican border, all the okay. way to Northern California. And, and every year it changed it. between like Quincy and or uh, maybe the Klamath Forest or the Modoc or something like that. Okay. But, but So every year it was kind of different. But this I'm year gonna, we... I'm, can I just hold a pause real quick? Go ahead and smoke that. Uh, that was one of the things that I wanted to bring up about the podcast, and I felt like that was weird that I just did this, but whatever. Um, I've met some incredible people here in Central Oregon, uh, Chris being one of them, and he has great stories, and I have other people that I have great stories from. You're going to love Tim. He's a, he's a character. Um, so that's why I wanted to do the podcast, too, because, like you said, real stories. You see real people. What you were talking about just kind of bumped me back to the Yeah, you, you, you create so community. Like, this is... You create community, I think, uh, seeing people and identifying people is an important part of that instead of just, like, this fucking troll word drop under a fucking pseudonym thing. But I'm also going to have some friends on, too. Hell yeah. And, and just do drugs. Whatever. Other, Fuck like, it. friends that, have, you know... Yeah. They, they he he likes me. He likes me. He's just not going to fucking say it. Don't worry about it. No, no, they live on the other side of the <laughs> you know. Old they friends. The, yes, yeah, estab- established friendships. You know what I'm saying, yeah. Totally. Yeah, they want to come over. No worries. They come hang out. They're probably yeah. gonna watch this, going, "Fuck that guy." That guy's a fucking ass bag. Hang on, you fucking tell me fucking about shit. science. Yeah, who called Luden? What the fuck is he saying? Fuck him. Yeah, I get it. Uh, <laughs> so we finished this contract. It was a big contract. We went yep. from Mexico to Northern California, and, and finally got through thousands of bale or thousands of bushels of of, of cones. Um, Collecting them. How do you how do you collect them? So what what uh, so the collection process is pretty simple. What you do is you um, establish a stand of trees with a healthy crop, which was basically my job, uh, and the, the rest of the crew, uh, obviously, and you establish a healthy stand. Put the contractors on the healthy stand. Make sure they follow some guidelines about spacing and where on the tree to collect. Typically, you want the trees to be. Oh god, I can't remember. Three hundred oh, feet apart. Shit. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Anyways, you have certain just, spacing you know on top, I, I, and then and they go up and they collect, and like you watch. And so this, this is why I get pissed off at like at certain people when they're like, oh, oh, they the the, the cor- corporations just run roughshod over the forest and just de- denude everything and just cut everything down and everything would just die. It's like no, dude, you fu- you don't you don't know that because you've never done that job. I'm t- there are people who do that job, and guess what? They're people with integrity. And they fucking yeah. care about the environment. Fucking... They, they're involved in the environment. They fucking yeah. plant trees. They care. Fuck you and your fucking city. Fuck you and your fucking Prius. Nickel, cobalt, fucking mines. Asshole. Oh, Condescend shit. to me. Fuck oh, you. Shit. Sorry. So that happens. What happens? Occasionally. Oh, that's <laughs> rails. Rails. Since it gets getting off. <laughs> I thought when you said you were going to collect cones, I felt like there was just like the, on, on the, gr- the on the ground. Yeah. No, you, like you so what you you, you climb the tree, the you go on the top third of the tree. Oh my goodness! You a, you you're tied process. in. You have yeah. you have a bag. You it depends on the this species. This is how you plant. This is how you if, reforest. If, yeah, you reforest. This is how you collect seed for reforestation. People don't do this shit. Yeah, you Most not, people you, that sit you, there with signs. Yeah, no, and and they and, and, they, and they want Mother Nature to do it, but you're they talking like if you have a if you have a fourteen hundred acre contiguous a fourteen hundred acre contiguous stand replacement fire that's roughly ovoid, roughly oval shaped, right? This is real life. You're not going to see reforestation in the center of that thing so for for right hundreds now. of years. Yeah. So the the point is like all these meadows, yeah. you, all the meadows you, you see in, in in the forest, those are fucking fires that burnt to a crisp, typically. Or there's a mineral depletion, or there's a, some sort of. So when I'm going up through the mountain, yeah, and there's like, and then we go around a ridge. Mm-hmm. If people do this, I know there's a lot of people that probably live in fucking prairie where there's yeah, nothing yeah. and shit. But we go around ridges, we go up mountains. That's where we live. Fucking get over it. <laughs> if you go around, if you go around, you go these... around, and then there's like no trees on one side. You don't mm-hmm. see that. What the fuck is that? It depends. So okay. if it, if it's private land and you see like a really straight line, it's probably a clear cut. Uh, um, but but know this. Would that no, be no, 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 like this. That, oh, hold on, know this. Every private clear cut has to be reforested. If they if they cut a tr- if they have a timber sale yeah. on their land, they have it to be reforest. Period. I'm super high up. Well, it, there's so, so okay. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of things. Uh, a lot of components of that. So it depends on where you're at, the ecology, uh, the kinds of trees that grow there. Uh, in Central Oregon, 
if you are um, turning a corner in, in, in a mountain pass and you see a, a shift in tree typology, you can derive some information from that. Mm. So my the ba best example is the Diamond Lake cutoff. I think it was like 139 or 39. I can't remember. Okay. About the highway that goes up to Crater Lake on the north side of Crater Lake and then splits to go to either, I think, Eugene Crater eventually. Or, amazing, by the way. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I don't care if, if you don't know where that is. If you don't, that's up to, oh, that's on you. Is. Go find it. It's, Seriously. Don't come here. It's ugly. It's horrible. No. It's it's like this no, really man. little, no, it's this little tiny lake, and no. there's like, no, there's like, there's fleas, and there's fucking mosquitoes, and there's pterodactyls that eat children. To learn about life. Pterodactyls. And that's not fun. Not fun it's an amazing place. To it is gorgeous. Just Google Earth. So, anyways, or, it's it's a great or, highway or, in that it's a super straight line. No, 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 hold on. <laughs> yeah, or just put on your stupid VR glasses and go. I'm gonna go to Crater Lake. Yeah. That's what life will be like. And then, and then, and, th and this actually, Lake, this actually ties Crater in glasses. this this ties into the ecology lesson because Crater Lake yeah. um, was prior to explosion Mount Mazama, um, and Mount Mazama was a super eruption. And it went boom. And there's a huge blanket of yeah. uh, pumice in uh, the southern part of Central Oregon. It's really beautiful. Um, super blue. Yeah. Well, like so this is so this is a deal. So and the reason why is because there's there's very little organics. It was such a major major blast that there's like did it change the forest ecology? Mm. It it was such a massive uh, clear cut See, essentially. Yeah. That's our. <laughs> you want to change subject? That's no, okay. I want to. <laughs> well, so there's a change. So, so it ended up changing the kind of lodge pole to grow here from, uh, uh, I believe, right. non serotonous to serotonous. I think we got to get back to the story. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so the story we're is. We're gathering cones. We're gathering cones. We finished it up. We, we crushed it. We, we killed it, finished it in Northern California. We go have a party, have a good time. Ooh. We're telling stories and have crushed it. having a good time. And um, uh, somebody complimented the car, and I was like, yeah, it's a beautiful car. And this guy was like, oh, yeah, you love the car? I was like, yeah, I fucking love it. Yeah, I'm going to go out in the fucking parking lot. I'm going to fuck its tailpipe right now. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go at it. It's, uh, it's weird, though, because I like that. I don't know. It's, it's a little bit of burn, a little bit of change. Have you started the car? Can we start the car? Let's start what, the car. Why, what car are you talking about? It's, 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 it's just a fucking... It was just a joke. I just got Did drunk. Did you drive in? And... No, I was, I was just joking. I was just literally, like, saying something that was stupid yeah, as fuck just to fuck with this guy. Like... Yeah, it's a beautiful car. Yeah, it was... Was it a nice car? No, it was well, no. Shit? It was a total piece of shit. Okay. That is a fucking beautiful car. That's yes, and then I'm going to go, yeah. fuck it. Yes. <laughs> it, it, it kind of like a... What? So, so, in response, this third individual goes, <sighs> When I grew up, I was really poor. Oh, yeah? He's like, yes, we were in Mexico. We were very poor. I fucked a donkey. <laughs> I was like, no shit, huh? He's like, yeah, he didn't like it. <laughs> so, and the thing is, I think he was joking. But okay. I, I, I don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> and this guy is just that kind of character. You're like, oh, okay. Ah! Oh, gotcha. So then, then the night capped off. We because you were faking it. I was just fucking around. Yeah. And so I was figuring so he was fucking around. But but it. but. Here's the thing. <laughs> he's a he's a very strange individual. We he's really strange individual. Today. So. And it was I don't know when it was on, but people do love their car. Yeah. See, that's that guy. was the joke. That's what made me think of the story. There's a guy. Yeah. Thank that's you. totally what made me think of the story. There's a guy you can Google. Dude loves his car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude loves his car. Yeah. But the point is, we watched the video earlier. That's fucking um, funny as shit. Well, we got shit faced. Well, no, you didn't watch it. Okay. Well, I've seen it. And this dude loves his car. He, like, makes out with it underneath. He, like, gets underneath the car. Like, it was on TV. It was ridiculous. That's what TV is. People are, people are silly. Don't watch those shows. But you find out stupid things. You can just YouTube it, though. Yeah. So the next morning we were uh, hungover at a three thirty departure time. Okay. You so guys... didn't get to bed till like eleven or so. Oh, at a okay. three thirty a.m. departure. But you were up at what? Fucking. We were up. At, we were, we got up about three. Yeah. Threw shit in the car. So we were pretty much packed, and we went. 
drive along, we hit Susanville, we go to get gas. We're like, okay, Susanville, give us gas here at the Chevron station. Well, it's the slowest motherfucking fill ever. And these are full size trucks with huge tanks, and you're talking about like tenths of the fucking gas. Oh, shit. <laughs> you're like, no fucking way. So it took us about 45 minutes to an hour to fill up uh, three trucks. Oh, my goodness. Finally got them full. <laughs> got them on the road, right? By that time, the sun is starting to rise. Oh, shit. You leave outside of Susanville. We wanted to get through this pass before sunrise. But it was, well, didn't really work out. So we're going, I can't remember the name of the, the, the camp, this little camp or this little forest service rec spot, right? At yeah. this grade. You come down, you go up this grade. Well, we're going a little too fast. Maybe 70. <laughs> <laughs> okay. and, and the deer jumps out right in front of the lead car. We're driving in convoy, so it's about a car and a half in between, you know, length in between each rig. And front car right there, giant on the spot. <laughs> yeah. Full slam on the brakes, everybody. Oh, and we shit. avoid this deer. The front car misses the deer by inches, and the middle car misses getting sandwiched by feet. So it was like, okay, we all pull over, we go sit down, talk about it. This time everyone's, you know, relatively sober and, and, and happy. Yeah. It's like, okay, the adrenaline's up, we're, we're, all, we're all awake. <laughs> Let's fucking do this. <laughs> so, we, oh, so we drive. And we go, we make Klamath, where we have to refill the fuel, and then we, you know, head on the road Calamity. falls okay Calamity um, falls Oregon yeah but then we head north on 97 and uh go by this old uh logging museum ends up up this grade and then uh hit a flat and we're sitting there and I'm sitting shotgun and my my buddy's driving and we see this tree drop into the highway oh, we're like shit. what the fuck it's, it's maybe a quarter mile ahead. what the fuck and the first thing I say is like fucking woodcutters cause oh really <laughs> just cause of my thought is like some asshole with a chainsaw has no fucking clue what he's doing is dropping it dropped a tree on a fucking highway is right. what, it was my thought that was my thought do people do that no, well, no that was why, why it was weird and I was hung over and I was oh, like okay. I was like what Maybe the fuck <laughs> right like, exactly it was like it was very like, surreal oh, very shit. very surreal so I'm sitting there going like what the fuck so the tree goes down yeah Get a little closer, we see that there is a Toyota 4Runner facing us about 20 feet in the air, 18 feet in the air maybe, what? wedged between two trees. We're like, what the fuck? Oh, and so, shit. and keep in mind, we're wearing shorts and flip flops. We're like, in 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 four service rigs. We're like, fuck, jump you out. Guys get home? Oh, yeah, we just want to get home. We're done. We're we're, yeah. we're six weeks gone. We're yeah. We're like ready to be home. For sure. And so we jump out, like run <laughs> down to this car, and um, the door, the rear door opens, and a uh, little girl is there, and she's like, ah! and she yeah. jumps down and like grab her and put her down, and oh, grab her sister, put her down, and the hu the husband jumps out and he's like running around, and he goes against his wife, his wife's got this fucking puncture wound on her, oh man, on her shin, and um, and got them all up on the road. <laughs> got traffic stopped this whole fucking fiasco and uh you know controlled the scene fortunately a few people stopped by and one of which was a um smoke jumper from around here it was awesome he did oh, some first nice. aid on on the uh, uh injured woman and then we proceeded to strip down to our underwear and change into fire gear and and go and start controlling the fire because the the car itself burst into flames oh shit <clears throat> and the husband Right before we stripped it naked, so let me clarify before I got my underwear, this happened. <laughs> <laughs> the husband was like, wanted to run back in the car. He's like, Oh, the fucking gold! The gold! And I'm like, He wants to go back in the car. I'm like, No, dude, fuck that. No, you're not going anywhere near that thing. And like, and so I'm like, You need to sit down with your wife and your daughters and be thankful that everyone's okay. That's oh, what you shit. need to be doing right now. Yeah. He's worried about fucking right gold. now. Yeah, and eighteen feet in the fucking tree. dude. Yeah, uh, the top of the truck's probably eighteen. The bottom it was maybe it was twelve. It was, it was a drop. It was you like a, yeah, you couldn't touch it. 
if I would have run and jumped off the tree and then onto the truck, I probably could have oh, grabbed shit. something. Yeah, you. It's up. There. It's up there, up there, up there. You it's got great. these people out. They, the girls, the, no, they got themselves out. Oh, we were right there to it. assist in the control of the scene, and to call people. And so we called, we called help, and we called dispatch. We called nine one one. We got everybody involved, and um, we. Uh, Jacob ring Jacob was great um and Joe was great well and this is the whole crew yeah like we had when, a whole crew. when when would have been this time that would have been oh eight or nine oh nine, eight or nine nine probably what what time of year would have been August okay no no it would have been late late August early no after Labor Day after Labor Day uh third week of September second week of September okay still pretty dry Yes, very. Very dry. Yeah, and so, so you're talking... we're like, oh shit, a forest fire, great, radical. Right. And so we jump out, we, we, we get all changed out, we get in our gear, we go line it, knock it down, the the uh, other fire agencies showed up after we had it fully lined okay. and, and mostly potato patched. What do you mean by line? So to fight fire, you establish a spot where fire can't spread. Yeah. And then you work from that spot, yep. putting scratching line, uh, cutting down to mineral, bare mineral soil, so the fire can't transfer fluidly across surface Got it. fuels. And so you, you remove all those fuels and you, you flank the fire. You go all the way around the fire and you just kind of stay away from the head. You have to do things to combat the, the, the direction that it wants to move, wait for the wind to shift, and then try and get it, that kind of stuff. Do a back, okay. do a back burn when the wind yeah. conditions are right, and that kind of stuff. So, um, this was really small. It was like a yeah, it was like but still three thousand square feet, four thousand square feet. I'm like oh shit, dig, 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 yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Holy yeah. shit! Yeah, and got through it all and um, knocked it out, and uh, nice. uh, the. Uh, uh, Locals showed up to take care of the scene and awesome. tell us tell us how to cut trees. And this is three uh, C Sawyer or uh, journeyman journeyman Sawyer okay. and certifications and the instructor level quality cutters. Like very nice. The three of us were sitting there, and this fucking guy is like, "I'll let the real cutter do it." <laughs> <laughs> no shit. Yeah, you're like, "You are fucking so funny." Not only did you just uh, line it. <laughs> Yeah, we did like, all fucking... fucking shit. This guy, <laughs> this guy just happens to just roll up oh, rolled... and just fucking the... let a real man fucking cut it. And this is the deal. This is seriously, the... dude. This is the truth of. Did you just see what happened? This is this is this is why logging is important. I'm going to be really frank here. Uh, Please. Um, we are spending billions of dollars fighting fires, and it's a losing game. What we need to be doing is preventing fires. And how you prevent fires is through fuels management. And with a, an, an active fuels management program that was focused on sustainable harvest and sustainable yield. What can you do with that? You could have a sustained industry, a sustained 100-year crop rotation on timber-producing lands. That's not every, that's not every yeah. piece of forest. Let's be really clear. That's not every piece of forest. No. Those are timber-producing lands. And some matrix lines, I'm sure, would be... Right here, right? Yeah. But we're not really timber country. Like, it yeah. would be it would be fuels reduction work here with basically self-supporting logging. So you'd be paying yeah. for the fuels reduction by logging. Boom. <laughs> Ta-da! Uh, <laughs> oh, weird. Wait, wait. But then it gets sued. And then you pay legal fees. Yep. And then everything loses oh, its value. Why do you get sued? Oh, oh weird. Oh, because environmental lawyers... There's, there's a cottage industry of environmental lawyers. Bummer. That, that make money doing that. And that's fine. I, I, get, I get it. You're, but they're not, they're, in my opinion, the intention may be pure, but they're trying to the result tree, is not. Right? I mean, that's the last, and that's the logic. That's but the, smallest, and the thing is, we have more trees now than, 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 than we're here. And then they just burn up. Well, exactly. When we can just use them. When, but like you're saying, you would just use that money. You would. But you would control forest fires, so then you don't. You have would to spend you would re- that money you would to... reduce the intensity. Do you understand of forest that? fires? You would reduce the intensity of forest fires, so you so you wouldn't have to pay 
to fight the fires because it wouldn't be yeah. as large and as consuming. Exactly. You would also pay for reforestation. You would have less You would have fires. more trees that are healthier. And you yeah, would have yeah. transitional forests. You could see ecologies in motion. You would have first growth, second growth, senescent, you know, fully mature, old growth. You would have that in a patchwork. And you would also have that in, in a shelterwood scenario. Mm -hmm. I think that would be really easy to attain. Um, in many forests, on many forests. Got it. Uh, the problem is, is it's, we don't have an active program. And, yeah. and you know, and West Side stuff, like, like uh, the West Side, yep. the valley, that's great timber producing land. Really? But it, there, the fire risk is low. Yeah. And the ecology is dense and thick. And so that's okay. We don't have to log that. We don't clear cut all of that. Yeah. But we have fire ecology forests mm -hmm. that need to be logged. They need to be thinned. They need fuels treatment. You know, that doesn't apply to like yeah. this beautiful old growth like rainforest <laughs> in Washington. It's not the same forest. Yeah. So you don't log it that way. It's easy. You know what I mean? You, you, the, the primary goal is to mimic fire and to treat fuels in a way yeah. that, that, that helps mitigate cost. So you use. Controlling fires. Yeah, you control you, fires. You you'd subsidize you, you, jobs. Yeah. So you you would then create jobs. Yeah. To then go out and I'm gonna try and get this to go out and clear, so it's less fire. Yeah. Obviously, when lightning strikes or whatever happens, control that. So yeah. you would use what you take out of there to fund that. So you're right there a circle. Yeah. And then we spend way too much money to fight, to the, fires. To fight the fires. Yeah. And so that, that's true in fire ecologies. And some ecologies aren't fire ecologies. Some are, are production yeah. ecologies, yeah. which are different. Yeah. And if you really wanted to, to, to have a renewable resource, you would manage your production Got it. acreage as well. But if you wanted to do the right thing by the kind of interaction contract that we have with our forests uh, right where, where you want to go and have a positive time and see mm -hmm. a healthy beautiful forest yeah right um, then we should be at least mimicking fire ecology Got it. and logging in a sustainable way to to mitigate that like find have another discussion about what like a wet site forest a high high yield forest like <laughs> Personally, I feel like you should log it because it's a sustainable resource that has it's one of the greatest resources in the world. Got it. Um, if managed correctly, um, but if you don't want to do that, I understand if you have you know issues with that. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to you know, direct you to that. Though. So, but you know, it, it, it would help infrastructure costs as well. Mm -hmm. And that's the scary thing about those two bills. It was House Resolution 621 and 22 or whatever. The, uh, 22 is the one uh, with law enforcement, which would seek to degrade the integrity of okay. enforcement and eventually erode the integrity of the institutions that can no longer provide enforcement. So why would people pay the, the fees or abide by the rules, right? That's the fear. Got it. Um, who knows, man? We'll see. Yeah. It's fucking nuts. That story, though. <laughs> Dude, you guys were fucking... That was a day. It was a shit, there, shit day. And you were fucking brave as shit. I'll tell you what, we were not... Out. No one was hungover. Yeah, bullshit. After the... Uh, yeah, no, after seriously, the, after that... Yeah, no one was hungover. Like, over. It was like, great, hey, great, we're it's good. It's time to move. It's time to do this now. And these dudes no. fucking went out there and they it's fucking funny. rocked it. We actually, we actually got a... Um, Got a little uh, letter of, of recognition read to us at a district yeah. meeting. It was a, quite the honor. It was very nice. That's how uh, we do uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do it. Yeah. This guy does yeah. crazy <laughs> fucking shit like this. He's yeah. got, like I said, he has fifteen. What'd you say? Fifteen stories of just the. Oh, the. So that's a comic the tree service. Series, we could do a series. We could do. A, I've got a lot of stories. So he's coming back. And the thing is, this is. I think that, that that character is strong enough that the once I tell all the real stories, we can really start making could, them up because really cause that guy, up. like, and the thing Three. is, is the made up ones would probably seem okay, less no. real. I'm just going to tell you. We're getting tired here, guys. It's actually been tons of fun. Yeah, absolutely, bud. <laughs>
<laughs> no, I love it. Thanks. Man. Cheers. Absolutely, my um, friend. Yeah, so it's been great. So, yeah, you'll definitely come back on. For sure, bro. Um, you know, I've got a schedule going right now cool. for the show. Uh, you're definitely hopefully you watch it i don't know maybe Absolutely. maybe you won't watch it maybe you'll just listen to it because it'll be better because you'll be like i know who these people are I'm yeah i'm it. a great I'm, I'm really I, okay uh, a fun promo for for episode two uh tim phil no no so i don't know uh I'm next week, use next week i'm trying to no, know yeah don't tim old timmy whatever he'll be on he'll yeah be, you he'll, can cut you can so, cut me out he's there so fucking jazz on that no it's all good I'm excited to hear that one because I want to hear his stories. What I would recommend to you is be like, all right, Tim. No, I don't recommend it. <laughs> wait, wait until afterwards. Wait until we're done okay. here. Because I don't want anybody to uh, know anything. Pro- copy. Kill it. Because I'll tell you right now, Tim's going to be great. He's going to be awesome. Man. Tim's what? I, I don't know what his age is. I'm going to let him fucking tell me. Yeah, Tim he's, Tim will he's, tell, he's tell you, and he's uh, radical, will, man. I don't know if that'll be episode two, episode three. It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, whatever it is. I'm here to have fun yeah. for sure that's why it's here's the weekend yeah hell yeah that's cheers why it's when every day is the weekend so please everybody go out and enjoy the fucking weekend drive safe and yeah please drive safe god damn yeah, it. yeah, uh, yeah. and watch this listen to it it'll be fun hopefully <laughs> hopefully somebody will fucking watch it and yeah we'll have some fun also it. go to our website uh levelstateclothing.com it should be changing live pretty it. soon. I live it level it. now. Um, go on and get a t-shirt, you know, or a hat or something. Do it. Or we have the stickers, the white stickers right here. If you want to go check those out, um, do it or don't. <laughs> That's how we do. All right, thanks, man. Yeah, no, no problem, bud. Great. Hell yeah. See you guys later. Peace.